Why is he like that? And I now don't it's know. fine. Yeah. Right? Can Hello. You see? Yes. Hi, baby. Hello. Did we get rated? OMG, they're speechless. Hi. Or did this many people show up? Welcome, welcome, friends. Holy <laughs> shit. Thanks for being here. It is not worms. Oh my God. <laughs> Can I talk about the worms? <laughs> Because here's what happened. I go to the vet with the cat. I go, this cat is certainly Yeehaw. pregnant. If there's two things I know right now, it is that <laughs> this cat is pregnant and that my wife is not pregnant. <laughs> hmm. We take the cat. The cat just worms. I go, that's fucking bananas. Yeah. That's absolutely absurd that it's worms. I go home. I fall asleep at the regular nighttime. I don't know what happened. Okay? The love of my life. We have to snooze it. At 3 a.m. Wakes me up. Says, hey, I think you got to look at this test. Yeah. Bananas. <laughs> Absolutely bananas. Yeah. So it was a day after we found out. Literally, like, yes. Like, within, within like, 12 hours... It was so wild. Same, like the Yeehaw. same, like 3 a.m. the next day. Yes. Like it was like I found out about Siggy. That's true. Yeah, within 12 hours. It was the afternoon. I'm only glowing because I put so much highlighter on. <laughs> I would like to be clear. Yeah, Morgan, in real life. I have life, not gotten my glow. And she's beautiful and I love her. She is melting. <laughs> my therapist, right after we told her, because we told her immediately, she was like, yeah, you look like someone who's in her first trimester. And I was like, she's so like, true. she's like, sorry, honey. Yeah. <laughs> like, so true, girly. Yeah. So true. Oh, my God. Yeehaw. I know. I should have turned the, the things off because there's so many. Siggy was the stork. How many did we get? Yeehaw. I don't know. I did two. Sorry. Oh, thank you. I thought I was appropriate. <laughs> A million and five. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's been bananas. It's been so very bananas. I'm so excited. Everybody's excited. We're also excited. Everything is okay. Yeah, I, I have been very brave to not mention it. Yes. So anyway, I thought I feel like the people who are normally at stream, yeah, probably knew that Absolutely like something was going on because I've, I've canceled at least one, if not two, streams every week. Yeah, yeah. But I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah. I've been taking naps in solidarity. Yeah. It's been good. It's been good. Yeah. Seven was the first one to find out. We called seven. The very first? Yes. <gasps> You're right. We found out at 3 a.m. We went to sleep. Uh, I called seven. That's true, yeah. The next morning at like 7.30 a.m. Yeah. And was like, hey, I canceled stream for this reason. So um, stream's about to get really funky and weird. Really weird. <laughs> yeah. I figured everybody knew. I was like, <laughs> that's okay. Either pregnancy or COVID. Oh my, <laughs> so bad. We did. We told Seven before we told our family, before we told our anybody. Seven's incredibly brave. Yeah. It's a star for keeping that secret. Yeah. An icon. It, yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, and then also, like, other times it was like, <laughs> like my, you know, my brother was actually in town. Kyle was actually in town. Yeah. So it, we, obviously, it's a running joke that Kyle is our sperm donor, but yeah. we literally, like, Morgan got pregnant while Kyle was was here. Yeah. Which is fun and fresh. So literally, Kyle was at the inseminations where Morgan was getting That's true. impregnated. So Kyle was yeah. the, the key element we yeah, were missing, yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, Yeehaw. absolutely. We'll never call the sperm donor the daddy, but Kyle is the daddy. Yeah. <laughs> We're co-daddies, me and Kyle. Yeah, we were genuinely busy as well as being pregnant. That's true. That's very true. Yeah, it's we've been... had a lot of people visiting and other things going on, but yes. oh my, so God. Yeah, when the baby comes out with curly red hair, everyone's going to be like, it is Kyle's baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Happy, Happy Father's, Father's Day to Kyle only. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, Miha. How's Nora? How are you? Hello. Hello, hello. Everyone say congrats to the Yeehaw family. Yeah. Incredible. I know. Happy Kyle Day. Okay, so, and that now we have to talk shit about the baby. <laughs> and it's fine. And we are totally fine. Every Yeah, before and we tell the story. Everything, everything is okay. Everything is fine. Everything is totally the fine. The baby is drama. We did have, we did have the, we had the baby Muppet made. 
We asked them like, like a couple weeks after we found out. Yes. And yeah, then yeah, it yeah, got yeah. here last like Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's Lauren Sydney 97, I believe, on Instagram. I tagged them in our story. They are so talented. They're yeah. just like a hot person who makes Muppets and posts like very normal their content. Their content is not about Muppets very, or their Muppet baby. Very little making. information about them making Muppets, but they do make Muppets. They were trying to not like be paid by us because they made our original Muppets and like didn't pay us. And we're like, it's a present. We're like, oh my God. So this time I was like, let me pay you. Yeah. And they were like, no. And then they're like, well, you can pay for materials if you really want to. And so we paid obviously more than what they said for materials. And then the Muppets arrived and there was three of them. Yeah. And all we asked for and thought that we paid for was the baby Muppet. Was the one baby Muppet. So it was the Muppet revamp. It's also so funny. Because Lauren made a Muppet, so that she made the original Muppets of us. Yes. And gave me uh, brown hair. Brown hair, which was the week before we found out, or not we found out, but the week before I dyed my hair pink for the first time. Yes. Um, so that Muppet is no longer relevant, and we've just been using that Muppet, and it's fine, and it's yes. working. So this time when she made one, um, my hair's pink, and what people don't didn't know, what what she couldn't have known, is that on Monday I was supposed to get my hair dyed brown. But what happened... But here's what happened instead. And again, it's totally fine, and we're okay, and the baby is okay, but what happened is we go into Morgan's hair appointment to dye her hair brown, because the grow out is... I mean, it's fine. It I've been cute. wanting it to be brown for a while. Anyway, this is just the perfect opportunity to be like... Yes. And now I have one less maintenance thing to do. Yes, not worry about, like, the the bleaching um, and, like, that those things happening. You're not really supposed to bleach your hair. Yeah. Um, when you're pregnant, if it's, like, in your own home where it's not well ventilated... So we walk into the appointment. Morgan immediately goes to the bathroom. I check her in. Morgan comes out of the bathroom and goes, LOL, I'm spotting. And I go, ha, 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 what? So because, and again, the baby's fine. We're fine. But because we are completely unhinged, instead of getting Morgan's Also because hair dyed, of the trauma. Yeah. You know? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We spent five hours at the emergency room. Someone <laughs> said, at Aaron 70, rough, this is how you found out. Yes. Oh, my. So God. Um, so we're good, and the baby's good. It was, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, This part yeah, is yeah, in yeah, the yeah, vlog. Yeah. It's all in the vlog. That's all. It's okay, And it's okay, and the baby's fine. It was just a so, little yeah, we, bit of spotting. We go to the emergency room. We're there for, like, five hours. Um, the spotting, like, got lighter as we're sitting in the emergency room. Yes. Um, Grandpa is in charge. <laughs> and then they did a Thank you, ultrasound. Everything's good. Uh, the baby was like this. Literally cuckoo bananas. And we bananas were like, why are around. they being cuckoo bananas? And she was like, they're literally fine. Our, um, our second to last scan that we got, they had the hiccups. Yeah. Which was the cutest shit I've ever seen in it my was really life. Cute. They were so small. Yeah. Oh my God. The, oh That's my true. God. There is a Dad knows. Know. Dad's been getting the live tweets about everything that was happening. Hi, babe. Hello. <laughs> Hi, welcome. We, and again, the baby's fine. If anybody's coming in, everything's okay. But we were at the ER because Morgan was spotting for a second. And as we're sitting in the ER, there is literally a woman playing dramatic, scary piano music. That's so exciting. Congratulations. Oh my God, congratulations. Yeah, there's a woman playing the keyboard loudly in the ER waiting room. So they're trying to like holler people's names to go in to get looked at by the doctors as this woman's like playing. So they're like, <laughs> Becky <laughs> over this woman who's like they don't pay her she's volunteered yes we asked someone when we got inside yes yes yeah the clown doctor we found out is on Wednesdays yes and also on Wednesdays they have a harp woman yeah so no one go to the to the Salem ER on Wednesdays because there's too much happening there too I've the seen I've seen on. like a pianist in like uh, <laughs> Veronica is so on like the like the children's floor <laughs> of a hospital, like for the entire floor though, they're not like in your room. Oh my god! Yeah, it was so much. So yeah. Oh, the other photos upstairs. I forgot the, the one from the ER. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're not supposed to give you pictures at the ER. Yeah, Aww. but they were very sweet. We didn't ask for it. They just gave it to us, which was lovely. Yes. But oh my god. No, literally. The most dramatic piano music. I'm I've happy ever heard. for the evil piano woman, but oh my god! Yeah, like in the regular hospital in the lobby, not the emergency room. Yes. Yes. In the like emergency room lobby. Yeah. She was a Disney villain, 
And then this weird man just kept trying to talk to her. He was like, are your fingers insured for a million dollars? Oh my God, yes. I was like, don't say it like a pervert. Don't say it at all. There was also this couple and like looking at them, they like had like really bad sunburns and like just kind of really bad vibes. And I was like, okay, I'm steering clear of them. And the woman is like, the person who is like the patient is like shaking a lot. And I was oh like, oh my God. She's got something going on. And I'm not looking, like, you know, no. when you're in the emergency room, I keep my eyes down. I'm like, I'm everybody's got to, their own stuff going on. Some I'm people want to make, talk about what's going on. I don't want to talk what, about what's going on with me. You know, so I was like, those, no. those folks are going through something. We oh end God, up cute, right Jody, next to them in the little, like, they call it the uh, results pending area, but it's like, Everyone's sitting right next to each other, but it is at least inside the ER. Yeah. And we end up right next to them, and she's shaking so much. And I was like, she's shaking even more than she was before, so it's like possibly like a reaction to the medication. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I've seen people shake before. The reason it's relevant is because, I'm not kidding, we're right next to her. And so her little feet are out and my little feet are out, and she's so close to just like hitting me. That I'm like, okay, I'm trying to like and then give her she, some space. Oh my god! So then, someone who isn't with the two of them is talking to them about the Bible. Yeah. Well, okay. The old man that she's with is like, I don't know why everybody's phones except for ours work in the ER, and I'm not going to be like, you have to be on the yeah. Wi-Fi because I don't want to explain. I don't want to talk to anyone. Winter net. This is also this like man. before we have gotten the ultrasound, so we're also stressed out. Yeah. So we're we're stressed. We haven't. Yes. Yeah, so we're just like you know vibing. And this man is like, bah, bah, bah. and then some other man is like, oh, LOL, you have to be on the Wi-Fi. And the guy's like, oh, okay, great. And this woman is talking about how she's a tech girly. So, and I'm not a huge tech girly. So if someone here is, let me know. But like almost word for word what she says is like, yeah, I'm a computer programmer. Like hacking into things, that's what I do. I hack into things. So if I connect my phone to the Wi-Fi, like they might be getting sensitive information from me because I'm a hacker. Didn't make any sense. And I was like. Can you, is a hacker a job? It didn't make any sense. And then the two she of them start talking. She was also like 110 years old. Yes. The two of them start talking about how they just went to Africa. And they were like, the people there were so, like the way they were talking. It was very like weird, fetishizing, like yes. white savior they shit. They were like, the And she's like, we brought so a boy welcoming. back. She's like, we brought a boy back and he's sleeping on the floor in the church. And I was no, like, why don't you no, get him No, he was a- sleeping on the floor of his school. And now he's sleeping at the church. Oh. And they were like, okay. we've brought him to God and we've saved him. And uh, he's 15. And we were like, did it you was just take so someone much. from a different country and we brought a boy back? No, literally. Everything about it was so icky. And so we're just like, oh my God. And I'm just like looking down. Phoebe and I are just playing words with friends back and forth to each other. Yes. Real hackers don't announce that they're hackers. That's, That's what, what I'm thought. thinking. Yeah. If anyone is a, a hacker here, I would assume that it's Pendless. Otherwise, I don't <laughs> think that any of you are hackers. They were like, his mom is addicted to drugs, and like he just really he had a bad situation. Oh over my there. god, it was so. And luckily, rough. like the church is really taking care of him. And I was like, <laughs> "Hello, Arden Lee Ellis," because we oh were in the god. ER. We're okay. The baby's okay, but we were in the ER, and we're fine. I'm a hacker who kidnapped a child. <laughs> ER woman. Oh my yeah. golly, it was so much. I will say, normally we see like a lot of characters at the ER, and she was kind of the only one this time, besides the pian- the pro- woman playing piano, really yeah. badly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the woman playing piano clearly thought yeehaw. she was helping. I just, I don't know why. Oh my god, that was bananas. Yes, welcome. Oh, it was so bananas. We did also, there was a woman right next to me. Did you see what she was reading? No. She had a script. No, it's not stressful. Oh. She had a script that was like clearly, um, you know how like when scripts for TV shows or movies are like just for the actors, they're basically just like pieces of paper that are like held together with a giant paper clip? Yeah. It was like that. And I was like, and she was like making notes and I was like. Mm. What do you do? Oh, yes. The vlog is up already. So yes. sorry that we're here talking to you now. If you do, let's see. I think it's Nuvid. There we go. Nice. Ta-da. That's it. I also have a baby goof one that just says that we're not, like, sharing any Oh, info beautiful. I love that. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, Sunflower. It's a big day. We're very excited. We, so we were originally going to announce yesterday. Yes. But we were, had a long day on Monday, and we needed to, like, get a bunch of things in order in order to announce. Yes. So we didn't announce yesterday. We announced today. But the reason yes. we didn't want to announce today is because it's apparently Taylor Swift's birthday, and I didn't want to have to share that with her. Yeah. yeah I yeah. don't know if maybe Goof will be their nickname. I think once we find out the sex, we'll pick a different internet name, but I think it'll literally be, like, Gonzo or, like, yeah, Cricket or... Something a little bit silly that's yeah. fun. Yeah. Something that is weird enough that people might think it's the baby's real name, but it won't be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I feel like Gonzo's really funny. Yeah. Gail Worm. I did see that some people. Pizza Rizzo. <laughs> We want to do the NIPT testing. Oh, yes. It depends. So apparently without insurance, it's $3,300. For folks who don't know what NIPT testing is, it's non-invasive prenatal testing. So it's where they take Morgan's blood because her blood and the baby's blood are like together in Morgan's veins now. They're sharing blood. Did you know that I have 50%? No, I have, yeah, I have 50% more blood than I had before. Yes. Kyle Jr., really cute. I love Kyle Jr. Uh, anyway, so if they take the blood... Out of Morgan, there's her blood and the baby's blood. So what they can do is be like, these ones must be Morgan's, and these may be the babies and are probably the babies, and then they can, like, test the chromosomes. So what that includes is, like, a lot of, like, chromosomal things that can be going on, and then also if it's XX or uh, XY. So we would know, presumably, the sex of the baby. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I am literally in my Edward Cullen era. I also, if you didn't know, Robert Pattinson's girlfriend, Suki Waterhouse, is also pregnant. So Coincidence? We're... And Hilary Duff is pregnant. At the same time as me. Also, everyone in our city, because it's very difficult to get in with our OBGYN. Yes, that is so true. Because they were supposed to be able to see us this week, but they did not. So, But, you know, we were at the ER, so yeah. it worked out, I guess. Coincidence? I think not. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. I do love baby Renesmee. Yeah. It is a fertile time. I guess. I, so, what are, someone also said, it might have been also you, someone said specifically, like, when you find out the sex of the baby, will it, like, affect the way that you raise them? I think no, generally. I, though, personally, like, I am not going to be, like, a beige, yellow, green only. Oh, no. yeah, no, 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 I no. do think if it's a girl, like, we'll put her in a lot of pink, and if it's a boy, we probably will end up putting them in a lot of, like, blues. However, not exclusively at all. It is important to me. We have a couple of really cute... I think the thing about, like, gendered outfits is that it is always okay for a girl to wear whatever. Yes. And it is societally considered less okay for a boy to wear, like, I would say mostly things. I'm concerned about having an uncomfortable conversation with a stranger in a grocery store. I don't think we would because they people guess the gender of a baby all the time and That's they're wrong That's true. Constantly. We'll just be like, okay, thanks. Yeah. What I, what I do want to express is that it's important to me that we have photos of our baby as a baby in all kinds of outfits. Yes. Because... If for some reason that baby decides that they love wearing dresses or whatever, the pregnancy that's so funny. I think it's because I want them to have like, oh, parents made a decision to make sure that I would have photos of me being. It's like like how when you look back at your pictures, like for me, I see myself in little overalls and a cap and I'm like, oh, it's a gay baby. You yeah. know what I mean? Everyone deserves gay baby pictures. Yeah. Um, We're very excited. Yeah. I, I am excited to find out the sex of the baby. We're not planning on, like, I think probably use, like, gendered and also they, them terms for the baby. Yeah. Just because, like, I feel like that's kind of what we end up doing anyway. Right now, we've been using a lot of, um, we've been using, like, all pronouns for the baby, essentially. Yeah, we've kind of been switching it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, please do. Tell us. Tell us the tale. We haven't done the ring thing. We did the, the Chinese gender astrology thing. Yeah. According to that, it's a boy. Birth calendar, yeah. The birth thingy. We have a friend who's a witch who really thinks it's a boy. Yeah. Lots of other people think that it's a girl. Per the heart rate, I think it's a boy. Yeah. I am using the Morgan can use he him pronouns it's for me. Explain. I'm so sorry to confuse. Everyone. If you're able to use he him pronouns for me sarcastically, you can. If that feels too complicated, they them is always going to be correct. You'll never be wrong if you use they them pronouns for me. If for comedy you would like to use he him, you may. Yeah, that's how it works. But it's it's just it's kind hard of to like explain. A, I also I think the other thing is like always hope you be my husband. Unless yes. I we're entering a space where I want them to know we're definitely gay. Yes. And then I'll say spouse, sometimes wife, if I'm feeling really crazy. Yes, 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 yes. That's yeah. true. I have had a lot of food aversions, not a lot of like... Cravings. Uh, cravings. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, Jerry, I'm so glad we didn't have to pay $30,000. Holy shit. Oh my, yeah. so God. A man in that Kermit the Frog is a man. Exactly, so true. yeah. Hello, 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 Thanks, babies. It's technically, I'll tell y'all the day. I will probably, the internet may find out at some point, I don't know. It's June 26th. Yeah. 
is when it's supposed to be. We, I think the thing is that, like, especially with the first pregnancy, like, you never know. Most people go late. Most people don't go early. If it's June 26th, the baby will be a cancer. Yeah. A cancer baby. It'd be a cancer, yeah. Is it your birthday? Stop, Cheyenne. Yeah. Oh, my God, Andy. I love that. I'm very excited. Incredible. Oh, my God. IVF is so expensive. Oh, my God. Um, Hag Energy, you're so brave. It would be, yeah, it would be a cancer baby if they yes. are on time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would have to be super late in order to be a Leo, like impossibly late, so that's not going to happen. Yes. They could, I guess, be early and be a Gemini, because I think we Googled it, and like cancer season starts on like the 22nd of June, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, We're really excited, though, just for the timing of it, because yeah. it's not at like the height of RSV season, which yeah, we obviously we're going to get those. who just gave birth uh like a few weeks ago and yes. they yeah are stressed out because it's rsv season as yeha miha is i'm sure too yeah 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 it's rsv and also flu season and it's the holiday so people are really expecting to see you to be clear we're deeply unhinged so i don't think that the baby will be leaving our house after we come home from the hospital for, for an extended time. period of time yeah oh my god yeah yeah er, okay it's like pretty early summer though which i feel is cute yes yeah. i feel i think of it as like yes, midsummer because i think it's summer gentlemen. starting in like may that's wrong. I know. But that's Here it starts start in from. June. Um, yes. Listen, listen, listen. Um, we're very excited. We're very excited. Oh, someone also said. Yes. Are you going to make a video about the names you like but didn't use? I think probably. I don't know. I think uh, some of them. I would be absolutely like. Perfect name. Thrilled if uh m doodles made a video oh about my us. god but the I problem is that we're not mind. announcing the name right well if listen if m doodles makes a video i will absolutely personally message her and be like here's what it is after the fact yeah like after the video is made i don't i don't know if she will just name your kid after a tree <laughs> <laughs> yes I'm very i love m doodles so much did y'all see m doodles fucking maternity pictures with no announcement pictures yeah. a long time ago where, like, she's pregnant Bella, it's incredible. That's the thing. It's like, what if we want to use one of the other names That's how I'm future feeling. baby? That's how I'm feeling. But I think, like... Oh, my God. Hold I, on. I do think we could be, like, here's some that, like, I don't think we would ever use, but they are, like, vibes that we like. I'll find them doodles for you. Yeah, she made a vi but she made a video for Julie and Camilla, and it was like clearly a joke. They're also like so famous, right? Yes, Don't they, they have, have like five like, million followers. Yeah, followers, followers, not the same vibes as us. Yeah, paste. Do -ba -do -ba -do. That's Instagram. She does more stuff on TikTok, but yes. Yeah, she also does baby name consultations, which is cute. Yes, she's so cute. We do have like two favorites. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We I feel could, like a video of names we definitely won't use would be, like, too long. <laughs> I, mm, I guess we could. I don't know. I, that's I, I think we can make one that's, like, here's names that we wouldn't use. And I think we could, I think we could also pick names that are similar to ones we might use. Yeah. But, like, not quite them. Not quite. McKinsley. Just head through chat hole. McKinsley. Yeah. Renez name. <laughs> Did oh not God. want the middle name to be Mango. Okay. Of us? Of you? Of them, I'm sure. We do have a P.O. box. I think if you do exclamation point P.O. box, it'll come up. We do. We also have a registry. You don't have to get us anything from yeah. it, though. I don't want to, like, stress people about it. They have a, we have a wish list. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. You just can't put a space in it, baby. You did perfect. There we go. That's the P.O. box. And then I think if you just do exclamation point wish, wish list. Because registry is hard to spell. Yeah. Yes. Oh, hello, nice. hello. Oh my God. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Yeah. Bananas. So Name weird. our baby auction. Sevelin is incredible. <laughs> you can't. We are mostly over the morning sickness. Yes. Which is great. I mean, we, me. Yes. It's a uh, nighttime sickness. <laughs> I mean, it's all morning sickness. But yeah. It's not in the morning. Yeah, so right now, Morgan has had, and there's been no, we are not going to talk about, like, vomit, so don't be stressed. That's just going to be, like, saying it. That hasn't happened at all. It's just been nausea. Hey, Samantha. <laughs> um, but Morgan has these weird little, um, like, sucker things mm -hmm. that have been pretty good. <laughs> Those have been helpful. Oh, my God. I don't know, Heather, but my phone is like that. 
Um, and it won't let me see curse words. <laughs> Maybe like come and subscribe, please. Thank yeah. you so much. We're very excited. We're very Sour excited. stuff. Uh, some people like smell alcohol wipes, and like they help. Brandon, okay, you? listen. Can we tell them the fuckers are bad? I think we can tell them. Okay, listen. Uh, I don't want to be judged for this. I don't want to be judged. Here's what's happening: is that the love of my life hates ginger anything. Almost all like sucker thingies, anything are like ginger based. So these ones are not. What they are is like peppermint oil. They are good and they are helpful. I don't think they're peppermint oil. Like peppermint flavor. They are they're unfortunately. The, they're the pink stork ones, pink stork. which is this like weird Christian run brand. I have been confined to Gatorade jail. No, you are allowed to have water. That's true. But you're a little bit in Gatorade jail. But Morgan fucking hates, 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 hates hint, wa- hint water right now, which is very funny. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have noticed the hint fridge has been unplugged and not filled. Um, the baby hates flavored water. <laughs> uh, I also have not been drinking liquid IV. Anything, like, I can taste and smell everything too much. Yes. So... Yeah. So Phoebe made soup yesterday, which already I don't like soup anyway, so I wasn't going to eat it. Yeah. But the whole time they were making it, it just smelled like onions, which smell like body odor to me. Yeah. And uh, pee. Like, just like so much pee. It's a it weird, like. it's a very weird, like, her smellers and tasters are so off. The baby made Morgan acoustic. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the death of the hint fridge. I also think it'll be really helpful to potentially put, like, breast milk in. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me with my autism? <laughs> That's the other thing is that Morgan's never had like ARFID or like food aversions or like been halfway through eating something and okay, decided she yes. hated it and that is happening What now. I feel like has happened is I've downloaded autism because yeah. I've never been like this before in my life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've never been so easily like overstimulated ever. That's new. Easily, easily become evil. That's me. <laughs> And then also, yeah, I've never been, like, starting eating something, loving it, and then been in the middle of eating it and been like, I'm going to cork. You wouldn't download an autism. <laughs> yeah, there hasn't really been you any, got like... that temporary autism <laughs> subscription. <laughs> you haven't really had any, like, cravings? No, not really. The only thing that's, like, consistently been, um, like, basically always good is, like, kind of any form of, like, salty potato. Yeah. So I have, like, Lay's chips, instant mashed potatoes. Um, oh, they must have not had grits. Oh, they did. It's done. Oh, nice. I haven't put them away then. Yeah. Uh, Bananas. Ban- I'm naming salty things, though. Oh, sorry, Fries. sorry, sorry. Yes. Baby loves that salt. Yes. Which also is an old wives' tale that it's a boy. Pickles. The bread and butter pickles. Yeah, the bread and butter pickles. That's true. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah, I've not been as into sweets, which is also... That's just some free trial giving boy based on the old wives tale i think before we find out i'll do that little thing that people do where they're like here's all the old wives tales and like circling which ones i am oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. i ate so much salty stuff because of pot so i'm prepped for this they also when i was in the er on monday though i've been really stressed out that i'm gonna have gestational diabetes um just because i'm chunky and i have pcos but when they took my blood sugar on monday it was really good now, to be fair, it's like a while from now when they do the gestational diabetes test. I think the other thing is that we're not going to tell the internet if we have gestational diabetes, like the wider internet, but y'all might know just because of the way that the internet is. <laughs> we're not planning on showing any pictures no. of like their face. Yeah. Um, obviously, like I think like we'll announce when they're born and stuff and it'll probably be like us holding them where you can't really see them, but like. You know, things like that. Yeah, what I eat in a day. I'm very excited for the new types of content. I am curious how it will go because I think that lots of people will be upset that we're not planning on showing our kid. I don't know. I feel like it's good to open with that. Yes. Like, I feel like every time we post something. to keep the expectations accurate. Every time we post something, we're being like, and you will not see the baby's face or know their name. Yeah. I'm sure that, like, the name will slip on stream at some point. Yeah, I'm not like, I think, super stressed yeah. about it. I don't know. Fraz is so good. Oh I guess my Fraz God. also does extreme like live though. Yeah, yeah. No, I think no, I guess you're right. No, she does the podcast, which they She doesn't they ever do edit. Facebook Yeehaw. Live. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. She might do TikTok live sometimes, but I never see it. Anyway, I feel like live it's harder to remember. Yes. Not to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think on stream we might slip up. But I think that we have great mods and I also think that stream like for the most part is very um 
consider it, and I think people would just like keep using whatever yeah. nickname we pick. Yeah. Sometimes we accidentally dox ourselves on stream. Wah, wah. <laughs> um, also, like if you know who the sperm donor is, it's not. It's like a, it's like an open secret. It's like not something that's like stressful. If you, Don't be yeah, worried if you about watched it, our you know. content, you could definitely figure it out uh, easily. Very it's easily. It's Kyle. It is Kyle. <laughs> Um, kazoo. That's, that's so cute. cute. Kristen Bell doesn't show their kids' faces. Interesting. Oh. Basically, I would say like what the biggest thing is for not showing our kids' face is that I want people when they see us at Target by accident. Yes. Sometimes what happens when it's just us is people have like a parasocial relationship, which is fine. So they'll come up to us and be like, "Oh my god, da 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 da." And actually, I love meeting people. That part's great. There's nothing wrong with parasocial relationships. They are just inherently different than a relationship where we're like acquaintances. Yes. So like, it is okay. There's nothing wrong with being parasocial. Everyone does it. Everyone's brain does it. What I don't want to happen. Number one, this has only happened a few times, but sometimes people want to hug us and we don't, and like they know us and we don't know them. Yes. And I especially don't want people to do that while I'm pregnant. Yes. And then secondly, what I hope is people see if like we're with our babies somewhere yes. is they remember like I don't know this baby yes and I should like the baby is a secret say hello from afar <laughs> yes yeah 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 um we'll also probably excitedly show people the baby but what we don't want is people like in real life probably and be like oh my god did you want to see but what we don't want is people feeling entitled to see the baby touch the baby yeah ask to see them yeah 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 yeah, people will take your kids' pics and make fake profiles. Yes. People also, I saw, I'm sure everybody's seen it now, Thank but like, so uh, people will, I forgot what I was going to say. Hold on. Oh, people will like call a baby's name that they know in like a grocery store because yes. they feel like they know them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think the other thing is that because Morgan has family that she is no contact with we don't there are some people we don't want seeing pictures of the baby anyway, anyway. <laughs> people that we, so we do know and know that they are stressful so yeah yeah we're really excited yeah so they'll be mostly secret now i do think our content will shift because i think we'll talk about oh, our experience yes. as parents. parents yeah 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 things that we're doing things that are about us but like i don't think we'll talk about like our kids potty training yeah. or like things that are like them yeah 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 um oh yeah selena yeah. it's yeah it's been a time yeah the other day i started to brush my teeth and for like 30 seconds i was like what's wrong with my toothbrush and i just never put water on it <laughs> so i was just putting like dry ass toothpaste all over my teeth what did you say <laughs> i don't remember what i said it was like the smell yeah it was like smell half feet what would you <laughs> it's like yeah it's like smell what I was trying to say is, do you stink? Do you, do you smell how it smells like like pee? And Morgan said, "Stink to feet." <laughs> <laughs> it was stink to feet. Stink to feet. Yeah. And what she was trying to say was, does it smell like pee down here to you? <laughs> <laughs> because I thought one of the cats peed. Yeah. Downstairs, not in our area, but no, no, no. in the library. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of where we're at. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, though, it's been pretty good. Oh, I think we'll, yeah. Oh, yeah. Our plan is Absolutely. to stream. What I hope happens now that we've announced genuinely is that uh, there's only a short amount of time you can be a pregnant influencer. And so I hope people love us and they we start making ads on ads on ads. Yeah. Pretty to have much. enough money and savings to have, like, kind of a maternity leave. Yeah. Our nursery theme is Toy Story. Oh, do you guys want to see the mobile, the baby mobile? I think it's all the way upstairs. Oh. Uh. You can I, get it. I can get it. You can it. get the other picture. I can get it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show all the things. Our Spotify rap probably will be impacted. <laughs> um, yeah, we will not be sharing the baby. We will be sharing the pregnancy, which is about me and my choice. <laughs> um, so, like, yeah. It'll be very interesting. Baby simulator games? Top song, Baby Shark. Um... Yes, we have a wish list. Please don't ever feel like Yeehaw. you have to get us anything, do anything, nothing. Um, we do have, like, a small area. We don't have a ton of space. So if you would like to send us something, it would be best if it was something from the registry or something really small. Um... My favorite part is every time we get to see them because they don't, it doesn't feel real. Every time we get a new ultrasound, it feels more real. People lit literally eat up pregnancy content. 
I'm excited to be chunky and pregnant, especially since Phoebe's the one that does the comments and not me. Okay. That's true. No new tattoos. We also found out you can't have alligator when you're pregnant. Well, some people do. It's just that it's got like a high mercury content. You're not and so it's supposed to. Like you can you I would just... never judge you if you did, but No. Well it's like I've also been lying to it's... everyone about my coffee because it's just been chai for months now. Okay. I've made a baby mobile. It's not quite done. It's Toy Story. Here's the situation. You see it, you're like, oh no, it's boring. It's not. Oh, do you guys remember this is the star raviolis I was making <laughs> on stream? They tricked you. I tricked you. I tricked you. Okay, anyway. Here. You can eat regular, you can eat soft cheeses, which is sad. So I can't have brie or anything like that. They're facing down so that like. The baby will be able to see them. The baby will see them. Chai does have caffeine, not very much. I'm not doing oh, no yeah, caffeine. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing yeah, yeah. less caffeine. Well, yeah, you can have like a tea or whatever. I got a pound of brie to eat before my transfer next week. You're being so brave. Okay, and then I think Weezy, and I think that's it. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, you get the full effect. Thank you, thank you. But you get the full effect from underneath. From underneath. You are the baby. Yeah. I drink the Panera lemonade that kills you. The baby will have superpowers. Oh my god, so true. Yeah, so it depends. I mean, you know, talk to your doctor if you're pregnant. But basically, they used to say no caffeine at all during pregnancy. <laughs> now it's supposed to be less than yeah, I think 200 milligrams. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like two cups of coffee, I think, like eight ounce it cups. It really depends on what kind of coffee you're That's drinking. That's true. Anyway, so I've had no coffee, which I'm not like super into coffee anyway. What I'm into is like routine, so I like having a little drink in the morning. Um, so when we go get stuff, I just get um a chai, which chai does have caffeine in it, but like not much at all. It's like 60 milligrams. Yeah, it's like not. It's mostly it's about possible. it being sweet and tasting like Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys want to see the wiggly baby from the ER? These pictures aren't as crisp as the other oh ones. Oh, my God. So just know that. It's it, well, just yeah, got your name and your birthday. I think so. Yeah. And maybe that might be, like, patient number for something. Look. Look how big their head is. It's freaking huge. huge. Can we you tell? We watched our video today. This is their head. And then this is their little body. They're like very three dimensional, so it looks like they don't have limbs, but it's just because they're like wiggling around. So we yeah, we have seen all their arms and legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, they continue to grow at the correct rate. You can kind of see fingers in this one. They were literally. We were so stressed out at the emergency room, and then as soon as the girly was like, "Oh yeah, here, do you want to see?" This was literally them. And we were like, "Why are they?" Where are they cuckoo bananas, Why are they baby? Being cuckoo bananas. And they were like, that's just how they're being right now. They're just cuckoo bananas. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl. We won't find out at the earliest, I think, at our 15 week scan. Which is rude because I know Luxie's doctor in Florida did the early testing with blood. Early, and they early. found out early. Yeah, yeah. And I want to find out early. Yes, I the think we will share test. it because it's going to be too hard to keep it a secret because I will talk about them. Thank you, thank you. You know, you can ask questions that are potentially rude. <laughs> um, Noah, baby, how are you? How have you been? It is so a, good to see you. What a best day! What a great time. We're not having any gender reveal. No, I do really want to. Like, film Phoebe and I finding out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, even if it's just us, like, finding out on the phone. Um, Incredible. Hello, hello B. Hi. Oh, my God. It's so good to hear from y'all. Hello, hello. Listen, that's so fair. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, I don't, I think that the world <laughs> will probably end up hearing what the sex of the baby is. Yeah. I think we are really excited to hear that information um because of like it's the first like individual thing you learn about the baby yeah consider autumn as a name uh we aminta what a great question it's not a rude question i'm trying to like think how to like phrase this in a way that's like specific there we are morgan is the egg person mm -hmm. so it's morgan's egg Yeehaw. and then we're we're very familiar with the, the genetic the makeup genetic makeup of, of the, the baby donor. of the yeah. donor very 
very familiar. We did not do IVF. No, 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 no. We just did at-home insemination. Yes. So, uh... The deposit guy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, our donor spent some alone time... Yes. ...with the collection cup. And then we'd swap places and go in the room, and we would spend some alone time with the collection cup and the syringe. Yes, yes, yes. And that's it. It's Kyle, duh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Donor loves collection cup. Oh, my God. Nothing gets me going like a good cup. Oh my so good. Yeah, I also don't know what's gonna. So people have been asking about the clothing swap. Um, oh, that's yeah. That's why we've been so weird. So yeah, I, if you've been going to the clothing swaps, I have been not. I've been sitting in the back a lot of the last like three. Yeah. Um, but he doesn't watch stream right now. He's probably at work right now. I don't think he would care. I know the donor was putting a lot of boy vibes in, is what Yeah, he said. that's what he said. He also, he is not the one who wants to remain anonymous. No, he. W- I think he wants people to know. He would rather I think us- what's going to happen is when we take the baby to an event that he will be at, he's going to tell everyone oh, that I'm he sure. made the baby. Yeah. yeah we yeah, did yeah. make him a Christmas present. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're picking it up tomorrow. We are. We told our donor. Let's. Tyler Oakley, come on out. We, he was very excited. Um, we told our donor, just like in person. Yes. Um, he was very excited. I'm sure he was most excited that we wouldn't be seeing him as often <laughs> as we were. I'm 12 weeks today. It was him being like, oh shit, I'm off the hook. That's great. That's kind of what it He's was. He's like, I've got more free time with my own semen. Yeah. Okay, so it's a mug. <laughs> this is his Christmas present. It says, I helped create a life and all I got was a silly mug. And then I put, um, like, semen drips around the top of it. There we go. It's not, like, fired yet, so it's not going to look quite like this. It's going to be much shinier. And then on the inside of the mug, I did little sperms swimming towards an egg. I thought it was kind of fun. (laughs) Yeah. His donor mug. <laughs> Thank you. Our donor has blue eyes. Uh-huh. <laughs> he has blue eyes. Yeah, he does. He has red hair, which I think is going to probably be evident which from is the baby. Because it's Kyle. Because it's Kyle. <laughs> the best part is whenever we do, uh, like, any sort of... <laughs> Not interviews, I guess, but anytime we talk to the doctors, I think they just don't have a lot of practice talking to gay couples just in oh, general. Oh, man, yeah. Because what they love to do is be like, <laughs> do you know, like, Phoebe, do you know if you have any, like, history of, like, genetic blah, 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 blah? And then Phoebe will be like, well, I don't have any sperm, so. Yeah. Do you mean me or do you mean the donor? And we'll be like, that's so interesting. So interesting. How interesting. <laughs> yeah. How interesting. We will not do anything fun or weird to the placenta. I'm happy for people who want to do. What I need everyone to know right now, <laughs> everyone write this down. Get a pen out. Get a paper out. I'm a hospital girl. One thing about me, I love the hospital. I love medicine. I'm very excited for my epidural. We don't have any judgment about folks who do I'm something fun with their placenta. I'm happy for people who give birth in their house in a tub, and I support their right to feel that and feel everything they want to feel. Me, that's not part of my journey. Yeah. Our doula, we have doulas. Well, we have, they're a team. A doula team in one case of them one of them has to clock us. out. Yeah. Well, because we're on OHP, which means that we get a doula completely paid for by insurance, and yeah. otherwise it would be right around like $1,700. Beaver isn't going to put you on the placenta. I know. So sad. I'm very excited for my epidural. Um, <laughs> anyway, when we meet the doula, when we met them, yes. they were like, okay, and like what kind of like vibe what's your vibe like are you guys feeling kind of like holistic yeah they were like like, do you want to go in the woods and like ground yourself and I was like my bare feet do not touch the bare ground outside that's for sure Morgan's like I'm a girly who's indoors with slippers on that have cinnamon roll on yeah and that's (laughs) all of those things are fine yes (laughs) oh my god I love that (laughs) yes being on OHP is amazing the hoo-ha vibe check yeah. Yeah. We love our doula. We've already texted them a lot. No, and she, like... And they have di- they have all kinds of births. There the are there are people who... I am prissy. There are people who want to, like, go out and ground and, like, make, like, beautiful crafts. Yeah, like, they're like, let's do their... some, like, birth art and, Things. like, you know. 
do they have a catalog? Which is incredible. And I was like, I'm so glad that you have that as an option. Me, I would like the clinical, medical yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're very excited. I'm 100% team epidural. Yeah, give them to me. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't either. I don't know if I could concentrate enough. Oh, I think it's like birth affirmation art. So I think you make it yeah. before you give birth. I don't think you're like pushing and like somebody give me a paintbrush. <laughs> that would kind of be cool though. That would be sick. Um, We have a lot of baby clothes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I didn't register for any because I feel like people, I feel like baby clothes are the kind of thing where like you see someone, you see your grandma and she's like, by the way, I went to Target and I spent $30 on this silly little outfit. And then she does that all the time when you see them. Which is not a crime. Which is not a crime. That's why we didn't register for any. Yeah. We do ask if anyone wants to send us anything. Please be mindful of the fact that we don't have a lot of space. And so the things we registered for were for, like, the amount of space that we have. Does that make sense? We love and appreciate all of you. I love it everyone It is so who sweet that folks nice are so generous. And so. What else are grandmas for? So true. Not so a true. giant life-size teddy bear. No. No, although we do have a great grandma who will absolutely be trying to give us probably four of those because she's a menace to society. World's largest baby <laughs> bouncer. Oh, my. So God. <laughs> so we think that my mom's going to be Mimi mostly because it's, like, so fun. Not because she's, like, I'm too young to be a grandma. Like, no, not I think if we were, like, we want you to be grandma, she would do it. But yeah. But we don't, I don't have a But her name's Michelle. Like, my mom's name is Shelly. So, like, I think Mimi is, one, really cute. And two, very Do much I, her vibe. Plan. Yes. Hey, you never know, okay? <laughs> it's always good to prepare. Casually gives a trampoline. Now we do have if you people a lot of people have seen pictures of our backyard. Our backyard has no flat space, so our yes. kid won't have like a swing set or a trampoline in no. our yard. We do have a tiny trampoline down here. That's true, and we have a park like that we can go. We, there's a bunch of parks in Salem, um, but what I do hope is that one of the great grandparents buy like a swing set or a trampoline. <laughs> My, I don't know if they will, but... My mom has a pipe dream to... Because of the way that our backyard is shaped, it's, like, not flat at all. It's, like, here's our house, here's the backyard. It's, like, a very, like... It's, like, a hill, essentially, that we're built into. Um, so mom has a pipe oh, dream nice. to Thanks. cut a hobbit hole into, like, the side of the hill. Oh, isn't there already a water slide? Which would kind of fuck. yeah. So, yeah, there is that. I feel like that'll be really fun. Yeah, I think Mimi will be cute. Dad, every time we ask him, he's always like, that's not my business. I want him to go by Papa because I think Mimi and Papa is cute. Yeah. So I'm I'm seed planting Papa. Did you want to tell him your name? You can tell them. No, you can tell them. What? what? I think it's cute. Mor I, I don't have, like, a strong preference. Morg is very pro-daddy, which I think is funny. I think it's cute. I think Mommy and Daddy is classic, and I love it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm happy for people who have other names. I don't have a lot of, like, parent name feelings. I accept that. I am not mom. No, but you're giving dad. Okay. Well, thank you. So we'll see. Yeah. If the baby calls me something specific, I'm sure that, like, Yeah, we'll find out what happens. will be that. Papa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm very excited. We're very excited. You're giving daddy. Thank you. Thank you. Peepaw. Pifa. That's what I'm saying. Dada is very easy for baby to say. You've, all, you've all met a baby. You know? Yeah. That's what it's like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I think they're going to hear pee pee. Who said that? I think they're going to hear pee he and it might stick. Pee pee would be bad. <laughs> you can't do that. The baby's first word is androgynous parents. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would, I'm trying to get used to, in my mind, because the reason that sometimes, the only way that a baby will learn to call you, like, mommy and daddy or whatever, is if you also call them that. So you have to call, yeah. So you have to be like, you have to give it to daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be an adjustment. Yeah. Without laughing. Yeah. 
Um, so Denise is thinking about baby blankets, and it went by too quickly for me to like see. We have like a good amount of baby blankets. We do. It is so sweet that folks want to send them. If you're like making something and would like to make something, our request is that it be smaller than that. Yeah. So if you want to make like a burping cloth or um, like that baby's gonna be so a small. silly hat or just like slightly smaller things yeah. than that. But y'all are so 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 sweet. Please don't feel like you need to make anything. Please don't like stress yourself out about it. Yes. What we mostly need is good vibes. If you want to tag some companies who maybe want to hire us, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> We're really hoping that Nesting, um, stop that's so, funny, which is the though. crib that we want. Which if you also follow Lexi, it's the same crib that they have. I've been following Nesting for like since before we were influencers. Um, what prints? What prints? I don't know. <laughs> Little sleepies. The Frida babies. Oh my god. <gasps> yes. Okay. If you, you have to tell them about. Should we all go the through things? the registry? Sure. I guess if you want to. Is that boring? Is that weird? Do y'all know. want to see our registry? It doesn't have our info. It does. If we scroll here. It if you it. make the. Everyone said yes. If you make the so make it uh, full screen. And then scroll down. Yeah. And then when we go to screen share, if you make the window just. Ah, Does that make sense? yeah, yeah, Just yeah. This part? But it's not, yeah. It's there's nothing they can see right now anyway, so that's fine. I mean, I'll make it small. Cool. Yeah, you should zoom in anyway, just because. Yeah, that's too small. Is it? Yeah, is that long? Oh, I'm silly. Yeah. Is it alt? Yeah. Thank you. Like this, you think? I think so. Is that weird? No, I think that's fine. That? And then, yeah, that's what I was going to say, zoom in more. Nice. Okay. All right. Welcome. I'm glad that you're here. Okay, I've heard such good things about butt spatula. Everyone I know who has one is like, every my, my parents made fun of me, and they were like, just get diaper cream on your hands, but I don't want to, and I love my spatula. The gator, I would say, is one of my favorite things on the list. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's a, I've marked it as high priority because of how cute it is. It just tells you the temperature of the water because if you didn't know, like, you know, you can't put a baby in a super fucking hot bath. So you're supposed to make sure it's an appropriate temperature. You okay? Yes. Um, This is a little teether. We also, I don't anticipate, it is taunting me that I can't eat alligator. <gasps> I can't wait to do a photo dump where a photo dump where we show you all the little memes that we've made that no one has seen yet. We are finding out the sex of the baby. We just haven't yet, and we won't for a while because our OB is too busy. Don't you powder a baby like a beignet? These are all okay, and then like you know toys. N not a ton of toys because again, I feel like toys and clothes are the kind of things that like we don't necessarily need to register for. Because we're very lucky and we have lots of people in our lives who are so excited to give us things that I think they'll give us things. Echo, I would love that. Without us asking. I'd be obsessed with it. That would be really cute. Okay, a bunch of birth cloths. You know, you've seen a baby. They all, they can never have too many. Baby banana toothbrush. Silly. I gotta click on it. A click on Okay. Oh, I, it's bananas. It's weird on the screen. Mm -hmm. There's not a way to do this. Please stop clicking on things. All right. You scare me. Sorry. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Baby banana toothbrush. Oral hygiene is very important in our house. So we got to get them used to brushing super quickly. We have a, a dear best friend who is a dental assistant who also can do baby, like, child cleanings for teeth. So the baby will be going to the dentist at, like, age one and a half. What a great practice. question. Hang on. I'm ready to talk about teeth. So the actual teeth, we won't be able to see the baby's teeth. Usually to like six, seven months that they're like kind of really starting to poke through. However, at 10 weeks of growing inside of me, their tooth buds are forming inside of their skull. We're two weeks past that. Inside of me. The tooth buds are vibing. Also at 10 weeks, their intestines were growing inside of the umbilical cord. Yeah. And then had to migrate inside of their little tiny body. Can we see the scary ultrasound? Yeah, hang on. The scary one? The one where they look like an evil face. Like the fan with the opera. Yeah. Yes. Is that the I one am, you're holding? It's the, yeah. No, this is the good one. I know, but the very first one of that one is the scary one. No. Flip it the other way. No. Let me see. This is the one where they just look normal. 
I think oh, it's, it, it's the second one. You're right. It's on our fridge. They literally are cuckoo bananas. You know, I'm very excited to be pregnant at the same time as Hillary Duff and Suki Waterhouse. I want to be really clear. This is not a normal amount of ultrasounds we have of the baby. No. Hey, if you get pregnant yourself, don't anticipate this many. No, we have a bananas. Miha, I guess, probably had a bunch because they have a hard tube uterus. Look how scary. <laughs> ah. Ah. Jump scare. Scary baby. Silly scary baby. Yeah. Oh, and this is the first one. When they were just a lump. Yeah. This is when they were just a lump. They said, here comes a smolder. They said, <laughs> you're playing FNAF. <laughs> Points reward baby jump scare. <laughs> That's so true. Okay, these are some cute little towels to wrap them in. Also, I'd like to be clear, we have a separate registry for our family that has, like, other things on it. Um, anything that could be on Amazon is, because also our family will have access to this one. Oh, yeah. The, the But, like, mostly it's, like, really fun things. Well, that are on Morgan this. made an entire, like, registry on BabyList and then had a small emotional breakdown because BabyList won't let you hide your address. Yeah. So she did a lot of work and then Then I had to do it a second time. Yes. So if we could be using anything other than Amazon for our wish list, like we would. But unfortunately, I think it's because most people who are getting things bought from them on a baby registry, like know everybody who's buying things from them. Yeah, we're in a, a wonderful position of privilege, but it also means we have to think about Press other things. Me, please. Oh, my so bad. Yeah. I have a really excellent list of reasons why Morgan has cried over the past two months if anyone wants to see it. Mm. You want to finish going through the registry? Uh, yeah. Okay. We told Mosey second, I think, after yeah. we told seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we were supposed to do an ad with them at the end of November. Yes. But we weren't ready to announce yet. Thank so God we were no like, one was paying enough attention to know that we had three ads with them that we were supposed to do and we skipped one. Yeah. No, you can't use your P.O. box because, like, uh, too many of the things are coming from, like, UPS and UPS won't do P.O. box. Yes. If UPS is the one who's going to ship it, they have to have the physical also, address. Also, FedEx of doesn't the... do PO boxes either. I don't think. Yes. Yeah, Only yeah, yeah. Amazon or USPS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is fine. Yeah. If someone was like, we also my sister who had twins who was just visiting, they have like a really expensive stroller. Oh my god. That yeah. they aren't going to use anymore because the twins are eight and then they're not having other kids. Um, and they have like a travel bassinet that would be great. Surprise, your product really works. We were able to hide our address. It's just on uh, Amazon. You uh, just don't hit, like, share with um, sellers or whatever. Yeah, with buyers. Yes. We have only a couple diapers on here. Twins do not run in my family. My sister did IVF. And it was 10 years ago or oh, 8 years yes. ago before they made rules about only putting one embryo in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, silverettes. If anyone here has ever used these, let me know. But the girlies that I see on TikTok love them. They're jewelry for your nipples. They're not jewelry. Yeehaw. Well, they make your nipples feel better because silver is antimicrobial. Yeah. But they're $60, which is This bananas. is the car seat that we're getting. Is it the most expensive? No. But it, it has good oh. ratings and people like it. Deanna says they're good. Yes. People love them. The hat is really cute. Um. Oh, this one's gone from just the other day, I guess. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah, the plates are really cute. The plates are also, um, they're for not quite a newborn they're silly. But they're really fun. You know? Um, this is Phoebe's. I feel like we have a couple of pipe dreams, okay? And Phoebe's is the Nutribullet for baby. I would like to make baby food. They are going to try to make baby food. We'll see if it happens. I think what's most fun is that some of the things I register for, I'm just excited to be like, this actually works. Or like, this doesn't fucking work. Don't let TikTok lie to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, lots of cute little bibs this is a little belt to help like give me some support on my tim tum a haka a boppy we've got two different kinds of nose suckers okay people swear by the nose sucker with their mouth it's a little gross to me but there's a little filter and people love it because it's less stressful than the like squeezy ball that all of us had when we were kids they also now have an electric one and so i want to compare them um this is all bath stuff. That's I'm thinking Millennium Turkey. The no sucker is great. <laughs> yes. Um, 
I'm getting a diaper pail, okay? I know Phoebe's grandma's not watching. For some reason, people who are, like, usually boomers, maybe Gen X, they hate diaper pails. <laughs> I don't know why they hate them so much. They go outside with stinky diapers all the time. And we live in a house where we'd have to go down the elevator. To take the, the stinks out. To take the stinks out. I'm not doing that. I'm getting a diaper pail to put diapers in. It insulates the smell. You need special soap for everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for literally everything. Your baby can't have regular detergent. Ooh. They can't have regular soap for anything. <laughs> yes. I don't know. So, Graham... It's like you can always smell it. Da, 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 da. And to be fair, when's the last time she had to use or buy a diaper pail? Like 30 years ago? I feel like you can't. Now, obviously, you are supposed to change them a lot. You're not supposed to just let stinky diapers live there for days and days and days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like. But then taking it out once a day as opposed to however many yes, times. Yes, instead baby... of taking it all the way down Oops. to the dumpster. Not dumpster, but you know what I mean. Every time they poop. Thank you so much. You are so sweet patting from over. Um, okay, we also got a wipe warmer. Well, we didn't get one. We have a wipe warmer on here. I have the Ubi. Or, I mean, I don't have it. I have it on the list. Morgan thought I was going to make fun of her for putting the wipe warmer I on I thought there. I'd have to defend the wipe warmer. And I was like, I have autism. I want one of those now. Yeah. Don't make the baby have cold on their butt. Baby was like, I remember being three and four and wishing the wipes were warmer. It's so bad. My dad used to rub them in his hands trying to make them warm. Um, a manual breast pump. Oh, we also found out from our meeting today with our doctor yeah with our nurse actually um that we get a free breast pump yeah which is bananas which is very bananas yeah cold on their butt um uh, yeah they were like when you're in the thank you thank mommy you, baby boy. unit is what they call it yeah after giving birth like the next day or whatever you just like tell them that you get a free breast pump because we have ohp and they'll be like okay you can pick from these two i did pendless they didn't don't lie Oh, well, no, I got it. I picked the shirt to wear today. Yes, but you didn't buy it for today. No, 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 no. You no, bought no. it like a year and a half ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it when we were on vacation, and I was like, this is probably going to be relevant soon. And it was. Yeah. So here we are. Maybe not a year and a half ago. Yeehaw. Like in May. Yeah, I guess. Not that long ago. Yes. Uh, this is a sterilizer and dryer for baby bot bottles. It's another pipe dream Congratulations, Diane. to have, Happy to you. <laughs> to have everything so separate. Much. I would like to have everything separate. We'll see. There's also, we have little notes on some of them. Um, just like some basic swaddlers. Oh, this is on here twice. Oh, wait, did it start over? Yes. It did. There we go. And that's the end. And that's the list. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah people, the haka's like a letdown one. Yeah, people love the haka. I think the other thing is, um, I'm very, the little Pooh Bear head is cute. <laughs> no i don't mean i think it's very so possible sweet. between our internet friends and our family that like our registry mostly gets bought out like that is a huge privilege but like that's not the pipe dream Yeehaw. part i think the pipe dream part is that i'll actually use it nine every day is appropriate for stream today. nine months sub yay hell yeah <laughs> i think the thing is that like it's hard to know like what's going to be helpful and absolutely save your life and what's something that like you use a couple of times and then are like this doesn't really work for us i think that's the thing yeah so many people like different things the nice thing is that we'll be able to make content about like what works good for us <laughs> it's like green army then right okay hold on do, <laughs> do we want the the list of reasons Yeehaw. why it's short so this is things my pregnant wife has cried about and we're scrolling. And it's not long and at all. Scrolling. Do you, can you be in here or will you cry again? Well, no, I'll go get some tea. Okay. We will absolutely do a hospital. I already watch other people do hospital backpacking. Oh, videos. yeah, 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 yeah. The things that we aren't going to share is like. About the baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're sharing everything about us. Yeah. Things I've cried about your pregnant wife. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, Morgan has to leave. <laughs> I love that, Selena. Oh, my God. Sorry. I'm just, like, rumbling things. Okay. Are you on your way out? Yeah, I'm leaving. Okay. 
the one she cried first and has cried probably most often about is she calls it not getting enough oxygen. And I love her desperately, but what that is is anxiety. It is not not getting enough oxygen. Not that at all. It's just that she is nervous and then she's thinking too much about her breathing and then she's like, I'm not getting enough oxygen. And then she does this like deeply unhinged thing where she breathes like this. <sighs> See? And she goes, See, I can't breathe. <sighs> and I go, you are shallowly breathing on purpose to be silly. And then she goes, that's what it feels like. And I'm like, love of my life, for the love of God. Okay, then we were watching Bear in the Big Blue House. Obviously, that's going to make her cry. We are 12 weeks, 12 weeks today, which is very exciting. Um, she also cried and said, what if she doesn't love the baby as much as she loves me? And tears were just streaming down her face. She also cried after that because she said that she thinks she has sideburns and looks like a lawyer. I think she meant like a man lawyer. This is very, very specific. Then we were watching Muppet Christmas Carol and she was crying because she cannot live inside of Muppet Christmas Carol. Yeah. Yes. No, absolutely. Uh, she then was crying. We were watching Elf for the first time this season. And apparently the man who was Buddy the Elf's dad in Elf is coming out of retirement now. He had to be in retirement to raise his sister's child because she passed away. And so it was a lot of crying about that. Um, she got tired setting up the Christmas decor and cried because the baby was taking the Christmas spirit away from her. So true. Then we were just watching Elf again and she was crying again because of Elf. The next time she cried, she said she's not sure why, but she needs a snack. Valid. Grint, baby. <laughs> baby Grint. Then we watched the sad Rudy episode of Bob's Burgers. I don't know if y'all have seen the new. It was like new a couple of months ago. It was really good. Uh, oh, then we were watching VeggieTales music videos with our friends and Junior Asparagus was singing. And so she cried about that. Then we were all on stream together and Morgan was naming Pokemon, like deciding what their names, like what she thought their names were. Because we did a 12-hour stream in the first trimester. Bananas behavior of us. Deeply unhinged. And she was sobbing because she saw Ditto. And she had named him Dimple. And she just did not stop. Yes. <laughs> she just did not stop crying because she was like, look at Ditto. Nothing bad has happened to him. He has not had to deal with the, the horrors of the world. He has no idea. Yes. She was like, I Dimple. <laughs> oh my God. And I'm just like this, like, ha ha. So silly that we're just crying and it's a normal reason that we're crying. And it's, so. <laughs> what's the breeze? Thank you. We were very specific in a couple of things that we did. Yeah, Dimple has no trauma. Okay. Then she was thinking about finding Nemo the musical and the part where Nemo doesn't know if his dad is okay. Yeah, it's really sad. You're, you have to go back away. No, I'm Brave. You're not brave enough. I'm brave. I'll be right here. Okay. Okay. Uh, then she saw a baby that looked too much like her little brother. Then she tried to spell minus. <laughs> she tried to spell minus minice. It was M-I-N-I-C-E. And she couldn't figure out how to spell minus. And so she was crying. <laughs> Uh, then she was crying about Julie Andrews singing in Princess Diaries 2, and also because she wants to have a sleepover where Julie Andrews sings. Um, there was, uh, oh my god, I can't even say that one. Then she was crying thinking about the baby calling me daddy. Then she was crying thinking about an old woman losing her car in the Costco parking lot, which, by the way, we're walking into Costco, and there's this old woman who's like, clearly like, I'm not really sure where my car is, and a woman immediately scoops her up and is like, hey, let me help you find your car. So it was fine, like totally fine. Nothing bad was happening there. Oh, then she was crying because she woke up uh, after having a dream about a donut that doesn't exist in real life. And she really wanted the donut, but she couldn't have it because the donut is not real. We should all have a sleepover with mattress surfing. Incredible. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Then she was crying because there was a photo of her brother that reminds her of when he was a baby. Um, then she cried watching Annie 1982. She was very sad she couldn't have a sunny side up egg on breakfast poutine. Well, oh no, there's not a way to make the donut. I'll have her explain the donut, but the donut is like a lot. 
Um, then she cried like three separate times because she could not, because she can't become a sponge in the kitchen and stare at me all day, every day, which when she started saying it, it was like a, like a roast of me. Like she was like, no, it wasn't nice of you. It was nice. Morgan was saying that I don't use sponges in the kitchen because I don't clean the kitchen. No, no, no. You just don't use the sponge. Okay. You use the little. The brush. Yes. So I would be safe, so I could see you all day. Right. Because you're always in the kitchen. Okay. Please don't. It's okay. Do you need, what do you need? Stop. I just don't want you to be a sponge. I love you. I don't want you to be a sponge. I want you to be a human woman. That's my favorite version of you so far. If you were a sponge, how would we talk about silly things? That would be sad for me. I know. Okay, you're very cute. Okay. Um, then she was crying because my fart was too stinky and she hated it. Which is also valid. Super fair. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Veronica. <laughs> okay. Um, then she found a ridge in her forehead and is afraid that her brain is going to leak out. That's true. There's not a ridge in your forehead. It is either a vein or like a small muscle, but it's not even like a lump in her forehead. Oh my God. I'm almost done. Uh, then I had to leave to get us coffee and she said, what if I hit my head and forget you exist while you're gone? That's true. Morgan. <laughs> That's not going to happen. I didn't leave the bed the whole time you were gone. That's okay. And that is perfect. And that's what you should do. But that's not going to happen. We also had, I didn't even type this one down, but we had watched, <laughs> we had watched Babes in Toyland where there's a guy who shrinks people really small and she was afraid that she was going to get shrunk really small. No, that, but if I did, who would take care of the baby? I would take care of the baby, but there's not a shrink ray to make you really small. Okay. And then the last one is she thought about how scary it would be if a bear could drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That was dad's fault. Do you want to come hang out with my friends? No. Okay. All right. Oh, my. So, God. She's already been on Elk Talk. That's the problem. That's the real problem. Oh, my God. Trainwreck, I'm so sorry, baby. Oh my god, it was awful. Don't watch Babes in Toyland. They say okay. the G slur like eight hundred times. Costumes are really amazing. The costumes are fun. The dancing is fun. Pictures of it because the costumes are really cute. She has yeah. had the pregnancy brain. The other day, she was trying to ask me if I thought it smelled like pee, and she said "stink to feet," <laughs> and that wasn't. Does it smell like pee to you? It, she said "stink to feet." You may have missed a slur. The G slur is the one that folks use when they're talking about the Romani people. Until fairly recently, it was not widely considered a slur by most people, but it has always been considered a slur by the Romani people. Sometimes they use that word to be, like, cute and silly about themselves, which is different and completely fine, but, like, Kesha loves to use it in, like, a million songs. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't think she would anymore, but she just had an album come out in the last, like, five years where she said it a lot. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A catch-all for traveling nomadic people. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, right. So inner dialogue saying it's also the root for a word you might say if you felt cheated out of something, which is why you shouldn't oh God, use yes. that word. That's the one I really didn't know because I don't spell it. I can't spell. Yes. Stink to feet. So true. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, no, absolutely. Already too hot to be required to use English correctly, and now you're hot and pregnant. She's got hot girl brain. Hot girl, pregnant girl brain. How are you feeling? Well, you brought up the sponge again, and I just feel like you really don't get it. I love you. I love you. I don't think it's possible for me to get it. I did get a snack. Yeah. Stink to feet. It's because, like, what happens is I'm trying too hard to quickly get to what I'm trying to say. And so then I just instead say some no noises. 
It was also like, we're typing out stink to feet right now, but it was definitely stink to feet. Like T A. Stink to feet. It was like T apology. Apostrophe. Yeah, stink to feet. <laughs> T <tea> apology. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> stink to feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's closest. Because <laughs> my feet were sticky on the part that I think. Oh. That makes way more so sense. So I was trying to say, does it smell like George P. down here to you? Because your feet were sticking to But too. I was also trying to say, my feet are sticking a lot more than they normally do, which is also why I think George peed earlier. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. If you watch the... Um... Thank you, thank you, Hello. We're really excited. If you watch the vlog, you'll see us talking about Morgan had to get her blood tested to see if it like was in fact a positive pregnancy. So like the very first blood test that we got, <laughs> I'm not going to talk that much about needles and blood. It's only going to be like a moment, but I'm going to talk about it a little. Um, they took Morgan's blood and we were like, okay, there's no reason for Morgan to get her blood taken. So we're going to lie and say that I'm increasing my testosterone dose. And so... I took Morgan's little cotton ball. We had really elaborate lies for upstairs. They didn't even notice. No. I took Morgan's cotton ball and I taped it to my own arm and like paraded around the house in a not weird way so that people would think that I had gotten my blood taken. It was so much blood on that little cotton ball. And that's all I'll say about it. But it was so much. <laughs> we also only lied to them for like three days. We could not handle it no we could only lie while my brother was here yes oh my god yeah which is also why the whole first part of the vlog is us whispering frantically because we couldn't being be like talking. we're not gonna tell we didn't want to tell phoebe's parents till we had our first scan and then of course we couldn't do that we were too excited yeah we live in the same house as them yeah 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 also we were already so weird it's oh. not that he's not allowed so my brother yeah. was visiting my youngest brother he currently lives with my dad, who I'm low contact with, and my mom, who I am no contact with. And I don't think that they would, like, steal his phone and go through it. But just in case, I was like, I give him... It's not his fault, but I give him very little information. Yeah. Like, he doesn't have my address, um, even though, like, he could have it. It's just that I don't want them to have it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I, t I texted my dad and him this morning. Separately. Um, very excited to tell my brother. Like, he was really, he's really excited. Um, and then my dad, I was like, this is what's going on. I'm so busy the next few days, though. Like, talk to you soon. And then all he said was, like, congratulations. Like, call me soon. I'm off the rest of the year. So I'm talking to my sister-in-law about it. And I was like, it went better than I thought. Oh, no. That's okay. Okay, wait, hang on. I'll wait. We didn't hear about the guy. What guy? About about your dad. Oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You said it like it was another guy. No, no, no. We're back. Okay, sorry. Anyways, Morgan's dad. I texted him. He said, like, congratulations. Call me anytime I'm off the rest of the year. So I'm talking to my sister-in-law about it this morning, and I'm like, it went better than I thought. He didn't try to call me, which is what I was worried about, because I didn't want to talk to him. And I especially, like, I know he's going to tell my mom. I know that's going to be a whole thing that I don't want to deal with. But I have her blocked and everything, so. Anyway. Uh, and then my sister-in-law was like, well, did he at least say that he's excited? And I was like, no, because he's not. <laughs> like, no. The spoim did work. The spoim did work. Um, the spoim worked. So that's a whole other thing. When, my, when we told my parents, uh, we had done a, like Morgan did her, y'all saw the cruise presentation that Morgan did for me that same cruise presentation was done for upstairs that same day that we posted that yeah it's very silly um and anyway so Morgan said we have an update to the cruise presentation which you can see in our little like TikTok video and we'll Barely. post it on Instagram too um it was essentially Morg being like there's been an update to the cruise presentation here's what's going on something has changed the best part is Aaron Phoebe's dad is like also on his iPad and I'm trying to like as not weirdly as possible be like oh you're gonna want to pay attention yeah because he was like because he doesn't care he's not super like he'll go on the cruise whenever we eventually go and yeah. he's gonna have a great time yeah 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 he's, he's not like stoked about the travel he plans. also yeah he doesn't love to like plan a vacation yeah 
It's not exciting to him. Yeah. So mom's like, sweetie, pay attention. And I'm like, dad, you're going to want to see this. And he's like, okay. And then Morgan clicks and it's a picture of a positive pregnancy test. And Morg's like, we Mor- can't go on the cruise. Morg's like, we can't go on the cruise because there will be a baby in June. Which you can see it's them like screaming. My dad's the one who makes a noise like a fainting goat. Yeah. Like my mom squeaks, but it's my dad going, ha! Ah! Which is really funny in the video. But yeah. It was, it was pretty very funny. Sweet. Very sweet, very cute. <laughs> Listen up, Aaron. Not a Leo. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's my parents it's in that in first. TikTok. Here. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's only on this. Uh, the baby's going to be a cancer, we're pretty sure. Hello, welcome. Holy shit. Lemon's reaction's really cute. Lemon and Nick were actually the second people that we told. Yeah, the second people in real life that we told. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah. No, literally same. This is like the moment my parents found out. It was very cute. Very cute, very sweet. Oh no. Why does it say connecting? Where? Oh. Oh, was it because of slow mode? Probably. No, I don't know. The video's not on Instagram as well. I am going to post it, like, in a little bit. But, yeah. We're very, we should very make an emote of the baby. Baby Muppet. Muppet Baby. Muppet Baby. Muppet Babies. Bo is excited. Yeah, Bo is also in that same clip. You just can't see them because the couch is in the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're stoked. Yeah. Yeah. We're so excited. Bo's excited. It doesn't really change Bo's life that much right, yeah. right now. Our baby Muppet, just like from the Muppet Babies. Very similar. Yeah. Um, yeah, Bo's not like a baby person, so I think they'll just be like... Hannah cried a lot. Nice. Yeah, Hannah Han- cried. Hannah cried possibly the most. Kyle, really you true. can see in the video, they like... Oh, Morgan FaceTimes them a yes. lot, but I'm never there. So also what I had said was like, oh, I, I think I said like that I had gotten something at the thrift store they wanted to see or <laughs> something. <laughs> And so I was like, let me FaceTime you. And then as soon as. It was like both of our faces. Both of our faces. They you them. like watch because like it's like Kyle and then they're like. Yeah. It was really cute. This is just like my baby. So similar. So similar. Yeah. I would like to Yeehaw. go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. On a cruise maybe for their first birthday. I think it depends on a lot of things. Um. A lot of things. A lot of things. So it's not something that we're really, like, concerned about It's right not, now. yeah, it's not anything to worry about right now. Yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Siggy is, is at a home, is doing great. Hold on, I have a photo of her eating food Yes, being she's cute. at her permanent home. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Hello, welcome, Amelia. Lovingly looking... At her owners with her little cat food. So cutesy. So chubby. Happy, happy girl. She's so funny. She photographs angry, but she really is very sweet. (laughs) (laughs) Plotting her next scam is so true. Absolutely. Yeah, Sig's doing great. If you missed it earlier, uh, we found out the cat was not pregnant and had worms. And then like 12 hours later, found out that Morgan was pregnant. Which is bananas. Yeah. Bananas. Also, her kidneys are great, and, like, she's fine. Yeah. Mine, too. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone's got, got good good kidneys. Yes. She is now worm-free. Yes. She yeah. did. Yeah, it's so... It's so cuckoo bananas. So there was a pregnancy after all. Which is also why I feel like there's been so many people who've been like, Siggy update, Siggy update, and I've been like, I am so busy being very anxious about everything so i need y'all to chill out a little bit but i also we couldn't be like ha 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 there's something secret happening yeah back off (laughs) not now i'm a dad literally i'm a mother yeah we have a lot of content we have a really good video of morgan telling bob uh that she's pregnant that's really cute that's true we've got like me making the little baby mobile thingy yeah we've got some cute stuff i think we'll also do like this is what i've been eating and not eating yes um yeah 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 i think we'll also i would i think we're gonna do like weekly 
I would like to do weekly updates on Patreon. We should film one after stream, actually. Yes, yeah, To yeah, be yeah. like, today's week, blah, blah, blah. Yes. The reason I want to do it on Patreon instead of just immediately always posting it to TikTok is that if you've ever followed anyone who's been pregnant, um, all of their comments, not all, I'm being dramatic, a lot of the comments will be like, I see that you're 14 weeks. Did you know that when I was 14 weeks, the baby actually crawled out from inside of me and killed eight people? And then I had to go to jail for the baby's crimes. And it's like, why would you comment that? <laughs> why would you say that? So the the vibe is for in-depth, like, long-form content, probably, like, weekly or bi-weekly, we'll be posting that on Patreon. So it's behind a paywall. That way, if people, like, they're not going to pay. It's our our... Lowest tier of Patreon is $1, yeah. and then our highest tier true. It happened to me. Is, is $5. Um, so if people, like, really wanted to watch the videos, it's, like, a dollar that you could pay for only a month if you wanted to, to, like, watch through all the content that we have yeah. on there. Like, it's it, – the idea is if folks want to, like, you know, be supportive of us, that's great. They, it's not something that's meant to be, like, financially debilitating for people or, like, a Netflix subscription vibes. We yeah. do. We do have Patreon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. Thank you so much. Thanks, Pendless. Yes. So, anyway, thank you so much. You're <laughs> I so need to change the thing. So, we are still doing holiday cards from Patreon. Yes. Uh, we normally will have done them by now. And, like, a couple of people have been like, are you not doing them this year? Not snotty, but, like. Yes. That's, like, a huge thing because it's, like, the only real thing we ever send out physically. Yes. And it's, like, if you're $5 to your patron, we send going to do it, card. but we wanted to wait until after we announced. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, so that people who signed up after finding out about the baby could have the chance to get a card. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, later this week I'll be, like, posting that on Patreon with the link. I'm also doing it a different way this year to have it be more, like, automated. So yeah. <laughs> and we do send cards internationally. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is like the only thing we send out all year, so we do try to give it to everyone who's like $5 a month. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um I'll, although like if anyone lives in Ireland, I've tried to send out 3 cards to Ireland since we've done this. Like this is like the third or fourth year we're doing cards, and they almost always come back to me, and I've googled several times like at, like how am I writing it wrong? And it seems like I am. So is like the Irish government hating on our gay Christmas card or is they, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I've also had two come back from Australia, but all the other ones are fine. We're very excited. We're bored. Yeah. We also, if you sign up for the Patreon, please message me on Instagram and I'll add you to our close friend story on Instagram. If yes. you have an Instagram. That I feel like we post on fairly consistently every couple of days. Weird, random things that we don't want, like, the wider earth to see. It's not ever anything. I mean, sometimes they're spicy. Sometimes it's me, like, bitching about brands. I was going to say, a lot of the time it's us, like, it's Phoebe showing a mean comment that we got on TikTok being, like, what even is your argument, bro? Yeah, or, like, a goofy or email that like somebody that. sent. Yes. Or, <laughs> um, but yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, in thank Denmark. You. Interesting. We also, if you're someone who is on our Patreon and you stop being on our Patreon, you do not have to message me and be like, you have to take me off close friends now. It's not that serious. Hey, it is I okay. I think my dog might have autism. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, so bad. The Shiny by Nature drama was, yeah, close friends. Oh my God. Some of it I posted, like as it was happening, I posted a little bit on close friends and then we posted like yeah. a little bit about it normally because, oh my God. Yeah, and if you're on the Discord, like the... Um, I'm going to go get a the what's it even called like gossip time one oh, yeah, has been about shoddy by nature recently if you just message us on uh instagram we'll add you i don't think she means us though like because we the other thing is she said like somebody's spreading lies and rumors about me and, like, every person that I've seen say anything negative is, like, specifically talking about something that happened to them. So, like, it's not a lie if it happened to, if it happened to me. I was quicker this time. <laughs> it's been very interesting. True friends get sued together. Yeah, I don't think you can sue someone just for being mean. 
for being mean to you. Also, not we have not been mean. We've said things that have happened to us or to people that we actually know. But the biggest thing is like the TikTok that I saw and all the entire like comment section is all people talking about like stressful things that have happened to them by Shiny by Nature. Yes, I'm very excited for pregnancy Patreon goof content. It feels so surreal. Um, I don't know if there's a place where you can read ours specifically. I've messaged a few people. I don't want to keep it, like, in a story or anything because, like, they are technically a small business and I don't want to just, like, I don't want it to feel like I'm just shit-talking them. Um, what you can do, I don't know what the name of the person is. If you look up Shiny by Nature on TikTok, there's a TikTok video that has pretty good views of it's just like a person in their house they have like longish brown hair being like what's going on with shiny by nature because i feel like let me see if i can find them because i feel like they're like really strange and then like all of the comments are let's see if i go to likes maybe actually first let me look up Oh, Shiny by Nature drama. <gasps> Here it is. Okay, so the, the TikToker is Liz Collins, but the O is a zero. Hang on, I'm typing it. Okay, so they posted. Are is we it doing the rundown? Just, like, why it's back on everyone's mind. Well, that's the person who's... They've only got, like... Yeah, they don't... They have 139 followers. Yes. There's no way the cease and desist is about them. No. It's them talking about how the... What's funny is the search is a couple of goof shiny by nature. We've never spoken about them... We've never made, like, publicly. a video about no, them. No, 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 no. Although, anytime people say... What's that such and such from? If Morgan's wearing Shiny by Nature, we're like, it's Shiny by Nature, but we wouldn't <laughs> buy from them if we were you. Also, we have them blocked on every platform. So. Oh yeah, God. so they couldn't have. They're I have, so sweet. I have them blocked, Stop and kids. then also Alex, who is like the owner, who, by the way, is an influencer, has like a hundred and something thousand followers on Instagram. Her engagement's really low, though, so I'm curious if she bought If she them. paid for them, that's very possible. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Nice. It's time to play the music, it's time to light the lights. It's time to meet the Muppets on the Muppet Show tonight. Stop. Thank hello. you so much. Oh, my gosh. Hi. Hi, Welcome. Lexi's babies. Hello, hello. Oh, my Welcome. God. Welcome. Welcome. So many. Hi. This is the most people I think we've ever had. Holy shit. Thank you. We're so excited. Thank you. We're so... Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, we're playing Lego. Lego something. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Lexi. Yeah, we watched a little bit of Lexi's stream before we You're live. so sweet. Thank you so much. We told Lexi thank that we you, were pregnant you. like two weeks ago, maybe? Yeah. Um, because I've had so many questions about things, and Lexi's the person that I know who has the most similar... Okay, I see you're throwing ice cubes. Sorry about my ice cube throwing. That's <laughs> <laughs> the most similar like, uh, aesthetic and like vibes, and I was like, I gotta know how you feel about this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the diaper bag? Diaper bag yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. other things. Hello, um, hello. Yes. Pregnancy dumps throw ice at your wife. Sorry, sorry. Hello. <laughs> We're Morgan and Phoebe, if you don't know. A couple of goofs. We just announced our pregnancy today. We're very excited. We're friends with Lexi. We're obsessed with her. Um, she's very sweet. I'm feeling good. I have only really had, like, food aversions. Not a ton of, like, cravings. Uh, I've had, like, a lot of nausea. So much nausea. No Yeehaw. actual... Working. <gasps> Dorian, hi baby. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Uh, You're doing so good, Seven. You're perfect. And then we, I've been super, super tired. Uh, this is the worst my acne's ever been. Yes, that a lot has and been. And then a that's thing. it. <gasps> Another shark. Amazing. Incredible. Shark Town. Yeah. I love. <gasps> yeah everything's so sweet oh my god how so did Josie I love that yeah we love lemon yeah one of our dear friends it's also the baby can have incredible skin yes that's what they say uh, absolutely hello 
Chronic nausea for two years. Oh my god. That's so much. It's already getting better, which is nice. Trojan, you're so brave. But yeah. So, so brave. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, Emmy. Welcome, welcome. Thanks so much for raving. This is what the baby looks like. This is the most recent image yeah. we have. We saw, this was on Monday. The TLDR is that we had some spotting on Monday. We went to the ER and everything's totally fine. The baby was literally just being dramatic for yeah. no reason. So we've been talking shit about the baby. Yeah. Oh my, so God. I feel like this one's kind of clear. I think in the other one you can see their jawbone. I think. Mm, yeah. I think, I think that's, that's I think their mouth's open and that's their jawbone. Yeah. Anyway. I maybe watched the whole 50 minute video while I was working. <laughs> Tor, I didn't even know you You're knew who so we were. Sweet. I gotta be honest. Oh yeah, we can do we can do the baby jump scare. Hold on, hold on. Oh yeah. Okay, this is when the baby looked like they were in the Phantom of the Opera. This is from eight weeks, I think, and so this is when they're being scary. Yes, they're being so scary in this one. Look at their scary Phantom of the Opera face. That's not their face, by the way. It's like they're no. that's they're upside down. That little lump at the end that looks like a tail is their feet. So I think this is technically their mouth opening, and this must be their, I don't even know. I have no idea. But they said it looked normal. They weren't stressed out. I was like, what's the hole in the baby? Masquerade is so true. Hello, and welcome. Yes. Oh, my God. Hi. Yeah. Welcome, Tor welcome. I was already watching Lexi's stream. Uh, and then Tor was like, Tori was like, Lexi, Lexi, did you see? And I was like, I'm witnessing a moment. And then I, so I watched it for like 15 more minutes and I went upstairs and Phoebe was like, oh, did you turn it into a clip? And I said, I don't even know how to make a clip. <laughs> so no, I wrote down what time it was so that I can watch it later <laughs> and find what happened right before and right after. Tori, you're so cute. I love, I love. Amazing. <laughs> Oh my so god. Lexi keeps many secrets. Yes, a star, an icon. You cannot expect her to cultivate life and also know how to use Twitch. <laughs> Here's what happened. As soon as Phoebe said, did you make a clip? I literally, that was the moment I remembered clips existed. Because I was like, I don't know how to screen record. We do have one. It's just our Mosey one that we're very stoked about. <laughs> yeah, we already filmed it. Oh my God. We love Mosey so much. One, because they got Morgan pregnant and two, because they pay us very well and we're obsessed with them. Um, so super stoked about that. Somebody asked something else that I meant to answer. It was a good question and now I can't remember what it was. Let me go back. Uh, pregnancy ads before that. Hold on. Mm-mm-mm. The moment you saw the positive test. Here's what happened. The donor was Mosey himself. Here's what happened. It's 3 a.m. And so if you've never tried to get pregnant, Mr. Mosey. I'm about to give you not a lot of information, but some things you may not know. So number one, hello. Thanks for being Bye. here. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for hanging. Um, I, you're, you're supposed to, yes, it was 3 a.m. So you're, you're supposed, so if you're going to take a test, it's supposed to be, at least four hours since your last test because yes. they want your urine to be fairly concentrated. You on me. You're so sweet. Um, it's better. That's why they say to do like your first morning pee because in theory you slept all night without getting up to pee if you're very brave. Um, so we had gone to bed at like nine because we were wiped out from Michael being here and us doing stuff all day. Yes. We went to bed at nine, woke up at 3 a.m. So it had been six I hours. I am passed out. Phoebe's so asleep. I'm more asleep than I've ever been in my life. And I was like, you know, it was day 14, which is the day we're supposed to test. And I was like, I'll just take it now at 3 a.m. Because, like, if I were to pee then and then try to take a test at 7 a.m. when I woke up and it wasn't, like, positive, I would tell myself, like, it's because my pee wasn't concentrated enough, da 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 You know what I mean? So I'm trying to get ahead of, like, those thoughts by just, like, peeing right now when I know it's going to be concentrated. Yes. Also, if you watch our YouTube video, I'm so sorry. There is a shot glass of pee. Yeah. You can see it, and I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... My penless, thanks, baby. I am, like, peeing in the cup, put the cup, put the test in, like, dip the test in and, like, set it down. Um, and I'm peeing, and I'm, like, on my phone... Da, 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 da. And then I finish and I stand up and I'm like, okay, like I'll wait a little bit just to make sure, like, you know, what, make sure it's negative and then I'll go to sleep. And then it didn't look negative. And I was like, what? So it's like, and I had like thought of this moment for so long about like how I would feel. 
I'm hydrating. Thank you, Pete. And like it was like my my heartbeat was in my ears, and I was like so like shaky, and I was like, is this real? So then I put another pregnancy test in the same brand, but like the brand that we have um, has in the past like given false positives to people. Yes, because it's the easy at home ones. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so they're like the really cheap ones. Um, so I'm like, okay. And by the way, these were uh, illegal pregnancy tests that I was not supposed to have because Phoebe keeps all the pregnancy tests together. I hide them. Because I was always taking them too early. Oh, Flexman, hello. So, uh, I was like, okay, I have to get the real ones from the hidden ones. So I have to wake Phoebe up. So I take the two tests that I have shaking into my room. My brother's also visiting. Yes. And he's sleeping in the guest room. So I'm also, we're all whispering. Yes. And I literally illegal test. I'm shaking and I'm like, um, Phoebe? And they're like, what? <laughs> I was so mad. I was livid. I was in the dead of sleep. I was like, what is going on? Why on earth would you wake me up? <laughs> and Morgan's like, um, will you look at this pregnancy test? And then I'm like, oh wait. Phoebe literally <laughs> goes, <laughs> 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 And so we turn on our bed lights and I was like, Am I seeing things? And Phoebe was like, No. No, I see that. And it was like pretty, if you watch the video, it's like pretty faint, but it's definitely there and it's yeah. definitely visible. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I was like, um, do you have any other tests? And Phoebe's like, yeah. And like digging in their little thing and they're like, let's go. And so we like shimmy to the bathroom quietly and I lock the door so that in case Michael gets up to pee in the middle of the night, he's not like walking in on us, you know, doing pregnancy tests. Oh my God, yeah. Um, so no literally <laughs> literally so we took six <laughs> and they were all positive and then uh and then it's 3 a.m so we can't call our clinic no because it's 3 a.m so we just we're like sitting there vibrating and we're like we're like sitting in the bed we're like why aren't they open <laughs> what do we do now and morgan's like what do we do and i was like I, I don't know i don't know and then i was like we're being so weird and she was like no we're being normal and i was like you're right we're being normal and then we're like, okay, uh, uh, I think we have to sleep because Michael is like here. And if we are so weirdly tired because we were up at 3 a.m. He's going to know. Oh, my God. I think God. that's the other thing is when you have a secret, you don't want anyone to know. You feel like everyone is going to know. Yes. that's that. Hence the shot glass. That's yes. why you always keep your pee in a little glass. If bud. you have ever I'm telling you. been trying to get pregnant and you have to do daily ovulation tests, yeah. I don't know what, how people pee on a stick. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. I've never done that. I always use like a little so cup. Much. You're so sweet. And, like, I don't drink anymore, but I have a ton of shot glasses. Yeah. So I've just kind of been slowly peeing in shot glasses. Yeah. And then once it's, like, kind of been a while, I'll throw it away and get a new one. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Ah, Penguin Presto, that's so funny. <laughs> you you were so brave. Yeah. All glasses tainted with pee. Yeah. Some people... All glasses tainted with pee go to hell. And, yeah. Which is our trash can. Eventually. Uh, some people buy those little, like, mouthwash cups that are paper and pee in those. But, like, I feel like it gets too hot. Um, so people do notice things sometimes. <laughs> oh, I'm sure everyone knew. We were so weird. We've like, been canceling we, a lot of streams. We've been deeply weird. We we did fall back. As, I fell back asleep. I fell back asleep eventually. I was it, so it was tired. Yeah. I was so tired. We were probably up chatting for like 30 minutes, and then I laid down and took about like 20 minutes to fall back asleep, and I don't know how long Morgan was up. So we went to Disneyland in August. We got pregnant on the cycle in October. So it was a cycle. It was two cycles after Disneyland. Yes. Um. The only advice I can give people genuinely, first of all, I'm so tired of people telling people to relax and they'll just get pregnant. Yeah. That's horrible advice. What I will say that I think has helped the past few times, at least helped like the stress. Yes. Um, I'm not sure if it's not, I don't think it's like why we got pregnant. No. But we did have Kyle visit and then my brother visit back There's to back. There's shit ton going on. And we also, while those two people were visiting, we had like projects we were working on. Yeah. Um, so we were doing like non-baby related things. Yeah. Number one. And then the other thing that I did that maybe helped, maybe didn't, is I was very brave, and I ate a lot less dairy <laughs> this cycle. Ate a lot less dairy, and then from, like, the first day of Morgan's period, we made sure that we weren't taking, like, ibuprofen or any, like, NSAIDs, only oh, taking Tylenol true. things. We were, like, acting. Siggy the project, literally, Elliot. We were just acting like Morgan was pregnant from, like, the second that she got her period. I don't think 
that that was wildly different from anything else that we had been doing. I don't think any of that, like, caused it. It does. My shirt does say I love hot mom. <laughs> um, Morgan yeah. has PCOS, so it is vaguely possible that, like, less dairy consumption might There's make you more likely. There's estrogen in dairy. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And your PCO, like, PCOS makes, like, your estrogen and your um, progesterone. progesterone, like, all wompy jog anyway. Yes. So, like, that could be part of it. I think it's the thing, because we all fucking know. Yeah, I've been eating it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not soft cheese. It no. It has to all be I've been eating the things I'm allowed to eat. Yes. Um. Also, when I wasn't eating dairy, I was still eating at Pizza More for good luck. Yes. Every, like, time we had seven. So we were just eating less dairy, but, Just yeah. less, not none. Um. Yes. Yeah. So I think that maybe it was part of it. I feel like mostly what has helped the most, especially the last six months, is being obsessed with sister wives. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, being obsessed with someone else's drama that doesn't directly affect you. Mm-hmm. All the meat sticks are still in our pantry. Oh, my the God. The meat sticks are good for, they're like, good two for, years. Yeah, they're, like, they're like shelf <laughs> so, stable. Like, it will be fine, but oh, I was very sad. The though. meat sticks are expensive, though, so I was like, all right. The Not hatred, the hatred of Cody this. helped. No, exactly. Oh, my God. No, for real. Someone else's drama is the biggest... It's a cure. ...cure I can give anyone of, of anything you're going through. Yeah. Sister Wives, I feel like, is perfect for a number of reasons. Uh, we don't talk about them on um, YouTube or anything anymore because I am, like, Facebook... Uh, not Facebook. <laughs> I'm uh, Instagram mutuals with um, Mary's kid, uh, Leon. And it just feels inappropriate. So, like, yeah, so it feels weird to talk about... I don't know. We're not going to make any more YouTube videos about them. Or, no, 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 no. Even though, like, Leon's not on the show anymore, and, like, a lot of the older kids aren't on the show anymore, like... The premise of, like, I us can, like, talking about reality TV... We now have a parasocial relationship with them in a different exploited. way. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what I mean? There's just kind of, like, a lot of layers to it, so it's like... So mm-hmm. now we don't talk about them on YouTube or anything anymore, which I, I don't think they would be angry. Yes. But it just feels weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the adults of Sister Wives who all agreed to be on TV and stuff... Um, they have been... There's a lot going on. There's... The reason that it's a perfect distraction, and, like, there are other things that are similar, but the reason Sister Wives is so good is because there's 18 seasons. It's, like, a lot of content. There's so much, like, lore. Like, there's Reddit pages. And it's so messy. All of it. The... None of it's not messy. They're all, like, so different from one another. There's, like, theories on... Like, why someone reacted a certain way or if somebody's telling the truth or da-da-da-da-da. There's kids who post videos about Sister Wives on, like, kids from the family. Kids who are now YouTube. adults, yeah. Gwendolyn does that. Gwendolyn and, and um, McKelsey both do 18 that. 18 seasons. There's 18 seasons. Um, similar to Sister Wives, I know some people said that they got really into, like, the real Housewives of ba 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 or whatever, or some people said that they watched all of um, the Duggars. The Duggars seems really kid-focused. Oh my god, that one's stressful to me. We, so it seems stressful to me, but like... We did like a backlog watch of Bachelor for a hot minute. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we the watched Bachelor the Bachelor franchise. That one's good. Um, yes, people people love... Also like Fundy Fridays, people really love. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what I also want to say about this time that we were trying to conceive, like the last cycle that was successful, like it, we are on medication so that's like super fucking relevant so like we hadn't been doing yeah the so medication is the most important part of anything of the two years <laughs> that we were trying to conceive there was one year after the pregnancy loss where morgan's like cycle was so irregular and we don't think she was actually ovulating at all yeah. as far as we know the next year we were on um what's it called Lamotrigine. letrozole Oh, yes. Sorry. Letrozole for ovulation. And then eventually, so we did that for like six months. And then we started doing the HCG trigger shot for right around like three or four months. This was No, this was only our third one. Our third one. So I think the HCG trigger shot is like really what made it happen. Yes. Um, but also like. But they if, also like if you, if you are, for lack of a better term, a straight couple. Like you, if you guys have both ingredients at your house. To see a reproductive endocrinologist, at least in Oregon, you have to have been trying at home for yeah. at least a year, sometimes two years, yeah, yeah, yeah. before they'll even see you. Because people who are presumably healthy and presumably everything is working fine can still take two years to get pregnant just because, like, so many things have to be, like, perfectly lined up yeah, yeah. in order for it to happen. Um, and you have to be timing it correctly. Yes. And there's, like, a lot of So, like, we have – the one benefit we get as a gay couple – 
is that they didn't make us wait as long as they do straight couples because they yeah. knew that we weren't just shooting sperm into the ether. We were at least, like, timing things right. <laughs> yeah. Because we'd have to. Um, how do they know how long you've been trying for to this? Ask you. They do. Yes. So, so I you can lie. lie. Yeah. And also, the amount of time that you have been having unprotected sex counts. So if you are someone who has been having any amount of unprotected sex for, like, four years and you've never had a pregnancy scare, it is very possible that you have a fertility condition. Um, yeah. Yeah. Unprotected sex where that is sex where you could become pregnant. Yeah. So they count that also. Yes. Um, but if you... shoots back. Also, you are most fertile right after coming off of your... Uh, what's it called? Birth control. Birth control. But people, they don't talk about it that way for whatever reason. At least if you're on the pill. I'm sure with like the um, like shots and other things, it's different. It is different for different people too. Yes, but, but what they used to say speaking, is like it has to get out of your system, and it's not really that and that's so not much. Really how it works. It's that your your cycle is going to be very regular for the first couple of months after, most likely as it's coming out of your thing. But anyway, yeah. Well, OHP did not cover any of our fertility treatments. Ha ha ha. No. Yeah. They cover the emergency <laughs> room that we went to on Monday. They, they. I mean, they also covered like when Morgan was having excessive bleeding. Yeah. When they when they uh, categorize things as, as excessive bleeding. So when yes. we. Uh, got all of my blood work done. The first, even like, though it was by the fertility clinic, of infertility stuff that we did was essentially covered, even though it was by, except for our like consultations. And it, then my H, not HCG, HSG tube thing. That yes, because the tube thing wasn't covered. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. And then once you're pregnant, the rules are different. So just about they will completely cover, cover the everything, birth, and they're also <laughs> covering a doula. Yes, which is amazing because the doula would have been like seventeen hundred dollars if we were not on OHP. No. We're on OHP for a couple of different reasons, mostly because our we're like self employed, so it's very easy to get on Oregon like run healthcare when you are in the state of Oregon and self employed. There are like realtors who make like tens of thousands of dollars a month, but it's like super inconsistent because of how like the housing market works are also on OHP and like yeah, own Tesla. We're not taking advantage of any systems. No, no. It we, is a good place to we be. We don't we do, would never be judgmental of folks. No. We think everyone should have free health care, yes. but every once in a while we get this kind of like weird thing of like, well you guys don't really need to be on OHP. And while we have many, many privileges that are offered to us by like being able to pay rent late because we pay rent to my parents as part of the mortgage and like having a really great like support system and like all these other things like in terms of our income we we do like you wouldn't we wouldn't have OHP if we didn't like qualify for it if yeah. that makes sense. So I think even if we were getting the amount of money that we get paid monthly which it's not that consistent we would still be on OHP. Yeah. Um our trigger shot so we asked yes. if we didn't have insurance yes and then also if we weren't going through ohsu which is a teaching hospital yes it's like six or seven hundred dollars what we end up paying both because they like cheapen it somehow <coughs> to uh, because it's at the hospital that's a teaching thank you, hospital thank you. and then i think also because of our insurance we only ended up paying like 130 it's 120 dollars for the trigger shot yeah and not because of insurance so it's not covered by insurance at all not because of insurance right nothing there, no. to do with insurance it's just that oh oh not ohp ohsu which is a school and a hospital. That's the lowest price that they're able to offer. It's essentially like at cost for the HCG trigger shots because they know that folks are experiencing fertility and have to get like a lot of them. It was not bad. We only had to pay for it three times. Yeah. Every time we got a um, scan there, it's like between three hundred and seven hundred dollars. Yeah. So that's rough. Yeah. Once once the baby was created, the scans were free. I don't know that that's the case. We will find out. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it is. Even though it's at the fertility clinic, it is like. It's under pregnancy care. Like, it's coded. Oh, okay. Because the baby exists. Okay. Now, the ones that we had to get before... Yeah, no. Those are not covered. I know. Thanks for being here, friends. Hello. <gasps> Maddie, hello, hello. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's incredible, Nitwit. I know that we... If we hadn't driven up to Portland to get it from our clinic, it would have been, like, $600 at a different... Like, any... Most other pharmacies in yeah. Oregon. Yeah. 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 But they're nice to me now. Oh, my God. Yikes. That's so much. Ooh. Yeah, it's... I'm glad... Uh, they use a lot of gendered language in pregnancy places, and I'm glad that, like, it does not affect me, if that makes sense. But I, until I was married to a trans person, would never have, like, thought about it so much. We started the suppository progesterone <laughs> two days after insemination. Yeah, and went and then through we, week 11. 
Yes. December 5th is when we stopped it. Yeah. Which is also probably why Morgan had a teeny, teeny bit of spotting. Yep. Um, which has completely gone away now, but we did go to the emergency room for because we are incredibly neurotic and have trauma. Yeah. So. Yes. <laughs> yeah, for real. Tattle on them. Yeah, how do you feel? I'm feeling good. I'm mostly really sleepy. Um, We're going to the paint your own ceramics place later today to make Christmas presents. Yeah. Yes. That was the only spotting that Morgan had. I think that the, what what they told us at the ER is that they didn't have a reason for Morgan spotting, but that it happens in 30% of pregnancies and is like super yeah. normal and to not be worried. I think that being on, having two experiences with spotting, one of which that obviously was very stressful and bad and another of which that like everything is okay, like the best thing I can say is if you are stressed out and you are able to go to an ER, just go. Yeah. Because you will feel, it's never, it doesn't ever hurt to know more information about yeah. it. Yeah, we're in a super great place of privilege because we knew it would be covered by OHP to go in. Yes. Does the pregnancy um, feel different than the first? The, I feel like, yes. Um, I The first half of this, I felt less pregnant than I did with the first one, which is really interesting. Um... And then, you know, this is the most pregnant I've ever been, so then definitely yes. But, like, I haven't had a ton of symptoms compared to, like, other people that I know. You say that we, she has been nauseous, like, every single no, day. No, but some people have hyperemesis. No, that's you true. Know what I mean? That's true. That's true. I think the th- other thing is that I think that we have Some this, people can, like, kind of eat nothing. <laughs> we have this, like previous very stressful experience i think we're just going to be like really grateful that's true the whole time so i think anytime morgan's nauseous we're like hell fucking yeah we're pregnant we're like that's good yes it's also like we have a ton of privilege especially that like i don't have to go into a job yeah like i work here at my house and i can cancel it if i want to um but yeah it's been it's been good it's It's been been very busy very unbelievable bananas absolutely bananas yes people who are sick the whole time are so brave they're so brave julia or julie and camilla the like norway thin beautiful ones who have um a newborn that have like five million followers uh she was she had hyperemesis and she was literally throwing up basically every day kind of the whole time yeah that's mostly in the first half but especially a lot (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, that's wild. I am back in Gatorade jail. You are allowed to, to have water. Yeah. Gatorade jail usually means that you can only have Gatorade. That's not true. You I feel like Gatorade, Gatorade jail water. means, yeah, that you make me have Gatorade by me all day. We, well, that's kind of true. We did find a Gatorade flavor that Morgan really likes, which is great. That's true. I don't, I really like water. What's most interesting, if you haven't, heard yet is that uh, we love hint water so much we have a hint fridge um and actually the baby hates flavored water <laughs> yeah uh it was like it was like week six or seven and i was like this tastes weird to me and then now it's like i can't have liquid iv or the flavored water because it's like it makes me gag it's so weird taking any pills makes morgan gag yes i've never had issues with oh swallowing my pills god until now. The flavor is Icy Charge. Yeah. Which it's, is blue. It's dark blue. Yeah. Liquid IV is also bad. I mean, I... we Applesauce I've, is not a bad idea. I've continued drinking it. Like, I've been drinking Liquid IV like Yeah, we're not getting rid of it because I'll drink it after. It's also so expensive. I'm sure. Yeah. Chicken nuggets and bread. I've been really into all form of potatoes. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. like little instant mashed potatoes. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of any kind of like fries. I've, I can get. Oh, my I've hands been making on. breakfast paninis. Oh yeah, I'm into my bre- I'm in my breakfast panini era because I don't have to do anything. Phoebe makes it. Yeah. So it's like a very very over hard fried egg with. I'm way hungrier. Vegetarian bacon. I've also I've never experienced hunger like this. Um. So like I will be really anxious, but like mostly fine, and the excuse me it's like everything is getting dark and i'm shaking and i am so close to burning the house down because i'm so hungry but morgan will be anxious and i'll go baby are you hungry and she's like no no i'm fine i'm fine and i go are you thirsty and she's like no no and then like 10 minutes later she's like i am starving and i need food now and i'm like okay yeah perfect 
Um, I will be dyeing my hair brown. It's going to go back to brown. We'll see. Where I'm going to get it done at the hair school. That was supposed to happen on oh, Monday. Yeah. But so we ended up at the emergency room. We're literally instead. going to Fagan's. They were so fucking nice. It's like the beauty yeah. school that's local here. Um, and that, yeah, we had to go to the emergency room instead because Morgan literally goes into the bathroom at the beauty school, comes out, and is like, haha, I'm spotting. And I was like, haha, okay. I guess we're going to the ER instead of getting your hair done. Yeah. Yeah, we have to call and make another appointment. Wangry. Um, Lungry. But I've been ready for my hair to be brown anyway for a while. Yeah, Morgan's been looking for an excuse, but it's just, yeah. it's a lot of upkeep for the pink. Yeah, people who ha- do want to dye the- bleach their hair and stuff when they're pregnant, that's up to them. Um, it's like one of the millions of things you're not supposed to do, but like, we anytime are... you're not supposed to do something, most of the time, it's mostly that there's like not been enough studies. And we are overly cautious. Yes. <laughs> and it's never a bad idea to be overly cautious. I also, like Phoebe said, I've been trying to have an excuse to, like, have it not be pink anyway. And Morgan so, like, has shaved her head before. This feels like a nice, easy way to, like, transition yes. into having it be brown again. I'm tired of, like, the pink dyeing my pillowcases. Our, yeah, our, our grout in our bathroom is pink. Yeah. Morgan has said that if they dye it brown really bad, then she might cut her hair really short. Yeah. But we'll see. They, like, had, like, a whole, like, long talk with her at the beauty school. Yes. They were like, what are your expectations? And I was like, I feel I have appropriate expectations. I know, I just knew that if I tried to color remove and then neutralize and then dye it brown at my house, it would be bad. And I figured you'd do it better here at the school. And then they were like... That is probably true. And I was like, but I'm not super attached to it. Like, I would like to have long hair, but if it ends up horrible and we have to shave my head, like, that's what happens. Emmy, the most absolutely bananas thing is that I was thinking about the other day and, like, when Morgan dyes her hair brown, like, the pink hair will have been, like, a blip of time on our infertility journey. Because that's that's why Morgan dyed her hair pink is because she was like, fuck it, I'm doing something fun and unhinged for myself to, like, not focus on something else. Which is bananas. Truly wild. Yeah. 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 That's what they said at the school was like, it'll definitely need to be touched up. And I was like, I trust you. I yeah. believe you. Yeah, yeah. Um, they also like, I, it's just clear. I've seen so many like horror videos <laughs> of when people weren't honest with the hair person. Oh. So it's clear that they asked a lot of questions and I was like, I promise like all there is is bleach and then pink. Yeah. And they were like, and you've only done the pink. And I was like, yes, I don't change my hair color. I'm happy for people who do that. That's not me. That's too much work. Like it's just bleach and then pink. And they were like, okay, and tell us about your hair care routine. And I was like, it's just this shampoo and this conditioner. <laughs> They were like, you don't use any oils or anything? And I was like, no. What were they worried about? Like, if you had dyed it and then bleached it again after dying? Maybe. Oh, okay. I don't know. Like I'm, not like hair, I'm not a hair person. Oh, God. The henna is scary to me. <laughs> and good for oh, them. Oh, my God. Rachel Maxey does her hair with henna. And she looks really cute. She and looks she's incredible. So brave. But I'm always like. Thank you so much, Courtney. Uh, yes. Ah, oh, my goodness. Very so, exciting. So exciting. Sending baby bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's a lot. Black box dye and henna in my hair. Let the hair person know when they bleach my hair, it literally started to smoke. That's what I'm saying. That's bananas. I'm so scared. The chemicals are wild. The girly who is going to do my hair, started to do my hair on Monday, is also pregnant. And she said she just sent a really long list of all the chemicals to her doctor. And she's getting an early scan because she works like. With so many chemicals all day. With so many chemicals all day. <laughs> henna reacts with traditional hair dye. Interesting. Wild. That's so in- I had no idea. Um, huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to have a change. But we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Could be really bad. <laughs> so true. Could be. It will be easier. Yes. Lied about bleaching your hair and then got a perm. <gasps> oh, no. no. Did it just fall out right then and there? Poor baby. Why would you do that? Hello, hello. Welcome, Eat the Algae. We announced our pregnancy, and now we're yeah. just kind of vibing. There's always wigs if it's really bad. So true. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Sammy. You're so sweet. No, I can't believe someone would lie. Uh, so I don't know if you're, if hair grows faster when you're pregnant. I know your hair grows faster when you're on prenatals, mm. which I've been taking for two years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't dye my hair. No, that is why Phoebe was like, I'm going to dye my hair, because we were trying to find someone to do my hair. Yes. <gasps> oh, my God. She was crying. The stylist was crying. 
That's so stressful. Yeah. I'm not super stressed. I just, the only reason I don't like my head shaved is because um, in places like Portland, people are too gender inclusive. They are. So they'll like use just it for me. I'm, and Morgan. no one, hey, no one cool feels no, 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 no. I'm not complaining. No, 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 no. But Morgan is a girly pop, loves to be she heard, and gets a lot of like they, them without people like asking, which is yeah. fine. Which they are just being nice. Yes, over burns. yes, it's them trying to be considerate, but. Because they'll be like, you've made a choice with your hair. But it's Morgan being like, am I not girly pop enough for this experience? Are you not seeing how girly pop I am? I'll be like, do you see my huge girl breasts? Yeah. I know some people have breasts that aren't girls, but I am. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Famously <laughs> hates gender You know me. Anyway, so that's all is like, for the, am I not girly pop enough for the girly club? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. I had it shaved at Disney and people <laughs> call me sir a lot. Yes. And Which I was like, bananas. this is not for me. I specifically have girl breasts, not everyone else though. <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes a girl has girl breasts. Yes. Now, Morgan was in her little like what's it called rock and roller coaster outfit yeah, which it's, is it's, very, it's much butchier it's a it's a dad coated fit hold on let me see if i can find the one it's, it's like the, the classic one, one it's not the ah here we go oh wow this is like the one yeah it's this can we zoom in I don't think I can zoom in on this. No. I can make it big. We're just going to be mommy and daddy. Phoebe's daddy. Yes. We're going with classics. Oh, no. What did that do? What is you? What That's are the you? Oh, no. Stay there. There we go. And make a he big. There we go. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It's got these little, like, music things. Yeah. Very dad coated. So Morgan was wearing that with a shaved head and her, like, I looked exactly like this boy. That's the problem. <laughs> That's the stance. It looks like it's the one that they have at costuming. Yeah, I think it is. That's so funny. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. I've been practicing my dad jokes. Yeah. Dapper is what I was going to say. The Our announcement video on TikTok is us telling not everyone. We filmed a couple of other people... Everyone that reacted very <laughs> positively. We have a couple people that we filmed who. One of them, the angle is bad, which it's is so Phoebe's funny. Fault. Yeah. I was so confident that I could do both at once. Yeah. And then the other one, we recorded Blakey, but he, uh, it was FaceTime and he was on the train. And so it was like really grainy. Yeah. And it just wasn't very good. <laughs> we also had a couple friends who we love so much, but we just like didn't think they wanted to be in, in the video. video. Yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with that at all whatsoever. The They're best just, part like, that you private. can't really tell in the video is that how we told Grammy, who was the last person. Oh my God. The one who has the dog. Yes. Um. Oh my God. Blakey's not the, my, I wish he was our donor. That would be so cute. It would be such a handsome baby if he it was would. the donor. He's just my best friend. He lives in DC now. Um. But anyway, uh, Grammy, who is the last person in the video that isn't us finding out, yeah. we are, she is religious and none of us are. No. But when we go to her house, we pray because that's what she would like us to do and that's fine. So I was like, I'll do the prayer. So Which and, was shocking to her. Because yes. Because no one's ever been like, oh, let me do it. Yeah. Well, not never. Your brother's done my it a brother, times. My brother, very stoned, has been like, yeah, I'll do the prayer today. Which is unhinged. So him. you can see Grammy's little head is bowed. And then it's me saying, like, you know, thank you for this food, blah, 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 blah. And, like, also thank you for the baby we're going to have in June. And Grammy goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, are you kidding? She go yeah. Why yeah. would I joke, Grammy? Oh, my God. Why would this be a joke? It was so funny. And she's like, really? You're serious. Yeah. You're not kidding. And we're like, no. She goes, really? And then she goes, oh, my God. Which is really funny because she doesn't say, oh, my God, very much because she's very religious. Yes. So she's excited. That was really cute. That's true. We're due, we're due during Pride Month. 
Gay baby. Yeah, this is the not art wall Grammy. That's Grammy who has the dog that she feeds pie and ice cream to. Not regularly, mom, if you're watching. Just sometimes. But she has in the past. And when she eats her pie and ice cream, if she's got like one bite left, she'll leave it for the dog. Yeah. The dog has a great life. Yeah, that's a happy dog. She also, she the dog doesn't like hardwood floors, so she layers rugs in her house like they're going out of style. Like she got them all for free. So you walk in, it's like a mountain of rugs. <laughs> yes. Anyway, she she was really It's cute. the happiest dog in the world, but she's like, he's feeling really anxious today. And I'm and like he looks like this. And then he, he's got this pillow he's trying to get pregnant. <laughs> he hasn't done that in a while. But oh yes. my god. It's so funny. Yes. They will be if they're if they come on time, which they should. Yes. They'll be a cancer. Yeah. I'm obsessed with Grammy. Yeah. She's a crazy girl. She's an empath. Oh, my God. People have had a, had a lot of questions about Bob. We do have a video. This is a no. The grandma who did the mural is the one who called Tyler Oakley a twink. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, witchy puppy. Um, This Grammy, like Grammy who's at the end of the video. Yes. Graham, Graham, you see, find out who did the art mural. She's, she's the, also She it. screams. She goes, oh, which is really cute. It's, like, kind of fuzzy, so you can't tell. They were very excited, but she's, like, immediately sobbing. Um, I don't know how Bob is going to react. People keep asking. And what I do need everyone to know is that the cats, in, if I get my way, won't be within five feet of the baby. <laughs> Maybe ever. I feel like it makes me too scared. <laughs> To have animals that close to my baby. People who are animal people feel differently and I'm happy for them. I think. Tyler when, Oakley, twink. I think when the baby is here, I think that one, I think we may do like a video that's like Bob sniffing the baby that's cute. Two, our cats are not reactive cats at all. They're very vibey. So like if Bob comes up to hang out and snuggle with us and the baby, I think it will be fine. The children who were staying at our house, Morgan's niece and nephew, the cats were obsessed with them. They were obsessed with the cats. None of our cats are like declawed or anything. Um, and none of them have been around children since I was a child. Well, since Bo was a child. That's true. And they were all lovely and did great. Yeah. We do have a really cute video of Morgan telling Bob that she's pregnant. That's really funny. Um, that'll be coming out soon. I, I am curious if they'll be curious about the baby, but I don't think it's something that we're going to be like, yeah, let's put the baby next to the cat. But I, I, yeah, I think that. People who do the really cute videos of like their dog with their baby. Like and sleeping they're like, next to yeah, the baby. Yeah, and they're like, they're best friends and they're sleeping together. Very sweet. Not this would bad. be me if that was me. Yeah. That makes me too nervous. And yeah, I'm yeah, happy yeah. for people who it doesn't make you nervous. And the cats are not the same as dogs, but anyway, I am nervous about it. Yeah. It's fine, though. The cats don't live downstairs. When we were talking to during our intake appointment That's thing this morning, they well. were like, do you have cats? And we were like, um, kind of. And she was like, just really make sure that you're not the one changing the litter box. And I audibly laughed, and I said, they couldn't pay me enough to do that. <laughs> Listen. That is, don't you worry, girly, that will not happen. <laughs> I think Bob may emotionally try to fight the baby, but yeah, I think he'll be like, what the fuck I is going I think Bob on? is going to notice that people are giving him less attention. Yes, so he'll probably be more snuggly, which everyone But I don't think he'll anyway. notice that it's because of the baby. They're not yeah. very, like, observant the cat. animals. Yeah. Bob's the most observant. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got, a lot. We've had names picked out for a while. Yeah. Um, and I feel like, especially since we've gotten pregnant, we've, like, kind of solidified our top two choices. Yeah, we got a couple of faves. Um, they may notice you're pregnant. Bob has that's been very possible. obsessed with being in Morgan's lap, so I really think that that's part of that. It could be. Although he did like it to be I was going to say, he was before. already kind of like that, so. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We're really excited. Yeah. We will. We will see what happens. Yeah. My friend's cat definitely noticed she was pregnant. I thought it was really funny when Lexi was pregnant to watch, like, the dogs with her. Yes. When we knew, but other people didn't. Yeah, yeah. Ravioli. Ravioli. Little baby ravioli. Little baby Renesme ravioli may. I kind of, I want to do a video of names we like but aren't using. Phoebe's nervous about it because what if we use it later? I don't know. But, like. Blue chicken would be great. Yeah. Blue chicken's an excellent I think we could do, like, these are the vibes. Yeah, it's hard with vibes. Um, I also think we would only do it 
<laughs> if we could guarantee that, like, if we could put, like, please don't guess in the comments. Oh, I think they could guess in the comments. Because even if they guessed it, it's not like people wouldn't say know. anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe any names not in your top 10 to 20. Yeah. Well, I only have about that many. You can tell us it's <laughs> Gil. <laughs> yeah, people who have like 50 names, name. I don't know how they choose. Oh, Marissa. We have like maybe maybe 22 like total between all of them. Yeah, and some of those are like ones that are probably definitely not. That's true. If you're never going to share it, it's not as big of a deal. Yeah. That's how I feel because we wouldn't share a second one's name either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Galena. <laughs> Gileana. I love it. Secret Formula May. Truly never. I feel like Samantha is a beautiful name. Samantha's a beautiful name. Phoebe, or if it's a boy, Phoebo. Okay, my head hurts, so I have to take a shower. No, yeah. I'm, I, we can be done. Okay. Morgan the second. Should we raid some money? We've never oh, had so sure. many people. Sure, sure. Is anybody Let's screen? see. Mm, Ian, I don't know who this is. Uh, we don't know. Do. I, feel like, I feel like it's a lot of. I don't want to scare him. I don't want to scare him. I don't want to throw off his vibes. Yeah. Um. Okay, that's it. We appreciate you. Phoebe is streaming tomorrow. I am at nine a.m. I will be awake doing that. That's the thing I'll be doing. And then we are together on Friday at nine a.m. Yes. Baby Grinch. Baby Grinch. Baby Grinch May. Baby Grinch May. I don't know what I'll be doing on stream. Maybe crafts? I put Stardew. Oh, probably, maybe. That I, seemed maybe. close. I don't, I don't fucking know. Something. We'll be hanging out. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. We love you so much. Love you. Goodbye. Goodbye.